Hmm, hello. Look at that chat, a stream that begins without any technical issues. It's like I'm somewhat competent tonight. I, I, I do learn from my mistakes, I'm happy to report. Still, feels really dirty playing a video game on my PC in window mode, but it's what this game demands. And it's what it's gonna get. Did the live just finish or start? It really just started. You're right on time, I'm in. When are you a member? Uh, you got a gift sub or a gift membership, I believe. There was like 50 of them dropped on the stream last night. So congrats, you can now use the emotes. The stream ended? No, I'm afraid not. I would know. I would know if it did. It'd be a weird time to end my stream at 8 p.m. But uh, welcome back, everyone. Hope everyone is caffeinated, or at the very least, drugged and medicated. You need something in your body right now. Windowed mode, he's sacrificing so much. It does honestly feel dirty to play a game on PC in windowed mode. It's one of those things I never see the reason for doing. Because, like, well, why would I not want to use full screen? <laughs> but this game will not work in full screen mode. It just, like, breaks. Learn from my mistakes? No, you don't. I saw you play the quarry. Did I not finish that game? I believe I finished that game. That's called, well, winning. <laughs> uh, Fluid Lord Dardigan, how art thou? You know what? That is a title I will accept. The Fluid Lord. Also acceptable titles, Feet Lord. And, uh, this Hairline Lord available. <laughs> Does he have windowed? Does this game have windowed full screen? No, it's only like full screen or windowed. And in full screen mode, this game breaks on you. From what, or at least on me, on my computer. My dear brother, I believe we ended our last meeting on some unfinished business, but this time one of us will have to live in a coffin. Can you guess who it will be, brother? Do you, did you turn into, like, Liquid Snake all of a sudden? <laughs> like, uh, that's the voice I read that in. In my head, that is. What kind of fluid? Humans are nothing but gross slime factories, so all the fluids. That, that is the answer to that question. You are nothing but fluid with a thin membrane keeping it all together. That's all you really are, Chad. Fluid with a membrane. That's why you're so fragile and weak. Uh, everyone talks about solid liquid snake, but what about liquid li liquor snake? Well, I'm afraid he got cut. <laughs> they went with Solidus instead. I always liked that his, his name was going to be Gaseous Snake, but... Kojima thought that would be too stupid. That coming from a man who would later go on to name several of his characters, like Die Hard Man and Heart Man, amongst other things. Like, no, Gash, Gas Snake. Too dumb. Art Snake, yeah. I mean, he obviously he was anticipating that joke would be made, and he wants his art to be taken seriously. You saw a nitpicky sin last night for all this game. Rebecca tells Chris she left some medicine in another room, but Chris rushes out before she specifies which room it actually is. Well, that, and he also didn't specify the medicine. <laughs> There's a whole lot of medicine there. Which one was it? I don't think Chris would know. How many voices are in my head? Can anyone truly answer that question? Well, honestly, in mine, just my own. <laughs> I gotta love that self-narration going on. So, uh, me and myself, we talk a lot. Have you done a game since about any RTS game, by the way? Actually, no. Most RTS games, uh, there are a few that I probably could, but I have just never really been into RTS games. And I feel I would, like, not do it service when it comes, like, the gameplay and representing it. Because I would probably suck really bad at it. It's like I always feel apprehensive about sending a fighting game because I'm not very good at fighting games. Uh, but I know for an RTS game, I would likely just screw it up and then just embarrass myself. This is the same man who had one of his protagonists get grabbed by the balls multiple times. Your point? I do everything I do, I do intentionally, alright? I do it for the lols and the content. That's my excuse anyways. <laughs> My excuse and I'm sticking to it, and I'd like to see anyone prove me wrong. 
do you not do you not what like and do you not enjoy actually watching video game characters get grabbed by the balls? Oh no, you're oh no, you're talking about Metal Gear Solid and like the president, you know, and you know, you're grabbing right. I thought you were saying some other game I did that, and I was like, I was trying to think, what a game is he talking about? But then again, I played so many games, it's hard to you know remember every detail. There might have been one that was all about ball grabbing at some point. Which fighting game is considered to have the best story? Uh, none of them. All of them have really dumb stories, but probably Tekken, I'd imagine. That's the one most people seem to like. I don't know, Mortal Kombat probably actually does have the most dedication to story. But I don't know if it's actually that good. Especially these days. Face Clef, how you been? 85 months, let's go, all caps. Don't forget Raiden getting his balls grabbed. Well... In Mortal Kombat, you have a move made all about hitting them. Also, 200 bits from Musical Pumpkin. Thank you. What up, folks? Howdy, Dart. How you doing? Question. What room do you like us to use caulk in? You use caulk in every room. It goes on the seams. What are you talking about? This is do-it-yourself repair 101. You caulk everything. There's a ball-grabbing game. I'm not surprised. There's a game that is all about not shitting your pants, all right? So, if there's a game idea, someone has had it. Been good. Sorry I haven't been attending the streams much lately. I've been really preoccupied with a new PC. Oh, yeah, you mentioned you were getting a new PC. Hopefully that turned out pretty well. But hey, you don't have to apologize for not being on stream. Say, so you, you, you mod them if you want to. Hey, Dort, can I just ask that you don't put any spiders in future YouTube stream thumbnails? Thanks. Have I ever done that? I don't think I've ever put spiders in a thumbnail. Oh no, I just did. This is, well, today's a snake. <laughs> Almost like panic for a second. Wait, is there a spider in today's thumbnail? No, it's just a snake. I'm assuming you got the phobia. Or, or you just, you just, maybe you like, don't like spiders. I cock, you cock, she cock, we all cock. You know what? There's a reason why I put the L in there. That way I can't, like, you know, get, you know, I don't get, you know, taken out of context. We're just talking about home repair. You gotta, it is one of those questions you got to ask yourself. Why did the American version of caulk stop saying the L? Like, why do we intentionally, like, you know, I just want to say caulk and have a good reason for it and not get in trouble for it. Runs well and it's a lot beefier than my old rig. It really, what, what GPU did you put into it? Who wins tonight? LA Knight or AJ Styles? I don't know who those people are. But they have nothing to do with Resident Evil. Or do they? Uh, there's a ball grabbing game. I'm assuming there is, yes. Go looking for it. If not, it'll be made by the end of the week. It's okay, I suck at them too. It's all about the power of fantasy of having enemies obeying you. Uh, like, uh, like I said, StarCraft would probably be the one I would send if I were to do an RTS game. I mean, or probably like StarCraft and StarCraft 2. Those are the ones I do know focus a lot on their plot. And have like a lot of characters and character development. But I'm not really planning to right at this point in time. <clears throat> Went from a 2060 to a 4060. Ooh, two generation leap, huh? Yeah, I remember that time when I went from my 1080 Ti to a 4080. It's like, oh, wow. I can actually do stuff now on this thing. WrestleMania. Oh, see, I, I don't really uh, watch the... Watch the wrestling. Don't watch the wrestling. Wait, is that you, Jim? I'm sorry, I'm just used to you in like Twitch chat always talking about wrestling. <clears throat> uh, you're telling me you wouldn't send the RTS with Space Commies? Which one is that? Look, there's a lot of RTS games. I can't keep track of all of them. You went from a 1050 to a 4070 and an HDD to an SSD. It felt like a fish. Yeah, you you were like experienced like what it was like to go from like color television, like from gray and white television to color kind of experience with that. Uh, Homeworld is the one that has the most focus on story plot. Well, it's more about the focus on characters too. Characters are kind of important for what I, I work with. What's the best open world game that I've ever played? Honestly, it's probably either Elden Ring or Tears of the Kingdom. When I look, when I think of a good open world game, I think of an open world game where I never got tired of exploring it and didn't just like beeline it for destinations. 
And those are two of the ones I, that come to mind. I would say also Red Dead Redemption 2 had a really good open world. But I didn't explore it as much because it was simply too goddamn big. But it was a really well-realized world. Command and Conquer? Uh, well, somewhat. I've been good, just been busy with projects and work. Both have had my full attention split one way or another. I know you, I know that feel. I've been working on FF7 for almost two months now. Speaking of Elden Ring, you're currently at level 121, preparing for that DLC, are we? What about Ghost of Tsushima? That's a good open world game, but I didn't really feel the need to explore everything in it. Also, that game cheated like hell to make its world seem more beautiful than it was by having all four seasons happening at once. Like, how'd that work out? How do you have four seasons happening at once? What about Dragon's Dogma 2? I have not played that. And actually, that's not an open world game, technically. It's like a... like, And also, from what I've heard of it, uh, it's got some real issues with it still like getting around. Would you send mobile games? God, no. Absolutely not. Most of them do not interest me anyways. And I want to at least be able to you know, play an actual real game. And not to play, buy microtransactions. Uh, that being said, I know there is that FF... There's like the other FF7 remake that is like the the mobile game version of it. Which is weirdly somewhat way closer to the original FF7. But it's like not a continuous story. It's like little interludes they just like, you know, put into it. Evening Dar, hope you're well. Also watching an art stream that's binging the Justice League cartoon. Wait, they're just playing the Justice League cartoon on Twitch? You can do that? I mean, I, I was getting like bonked on the head left and right playing like theme songs of cartoons. Uh, let's see. Do you think Dragon's Dogma 2 deserves to be called trash just because it has MTX that are optional? Uh, that has been a thing since Resident Evil 7? Uh, well, first and foremost, it's got other issues besides multi the microtransactions uh, that keeps it from being... I wouldn't call it trash. I would call it un uh, mm, rough. Let's just go with the word rough. Microtransactions that actually like inhibit your ability to play the game properly, like fast travel and everything else. Those are like the worst kind of microtransactions I can actually think of. Those are the ones that literally break the game intentionally just to get you to spend more money. I do think that is a terrible behavior and I would not want to see other games. It kind of makes me hope the game suffers sales wise just so other developers and publishers don't get the idea to try that in their own games. I'm sorry to say to any like Dragon's Dogma 2 event out there. I really dislike that that becoming a trend. So if it means that game's suffering for it, so be it. Have you considered the Twawi game? The Twawi, Twawi, the world ends with you. Uh, they're pretty good, and music is fire. I feel you can get some. I don't think I've ever looked into them. No. Used to be an amazing mobile game called Nova back when I wasn't all microtransaction and ads. I don't remember a time of mobile games that haven't been primarily that. Finally caught your stream. Also, two questions. What game genre do you like? And what games have you played that have really good stories? Uh, when it comes to game genres I like, RPG, immersive sims, uh, horror games, uh, and, you know, third-person action-adventure stuff. All pretty good, solid choices, I feel. And what's a game that I've really has a really good story? Well, I will always like defer to ones you've probably heard before because they're pretty well known. But ones I will mention that you know affected me a lot were like Deus Ex. It's I don't know if you call it story good these days. Maybe it's like aged badly, but to me it's still a good story the way it puts everything together. Uh, you don't really see too many games that are like here's a world full of conspiracies and they're all cracked out and real. Uh, Half Life. Alex actually told a really good story too, and it's like only the, one of the few very good VR stories is that. Uh, but, yeah, <laughs> sorry, this isn't a very good answer. I, I'm not good when I'm put on the spot for questions. I think I would have figured this out by now. Heard the performance on PC isn't great. Don't know if that's been patched, but even if the game itself isn't inherently built around MTX, it still begs the question of why are they there exactly, and they're there to make money off it by frustrating you. 
Uh, like I said, I am not the biggest fan of any microtransactions. My default stance is I would rather a game have no microtransactions whatsoever. Uh, I am willing to allow, you know, just cosmetic ones that just don't do anything. It's like make the character look a bit different if you really want to, as long as they're not too expensive. Uh, anything other than that, I am usually against. Uh, there's a Steam game that's entirely designed around the premise of being like those mobile games you see in the... There's a lot of, like, mobile games, you know, monetization that has found its way in our games, you know? Is Half-Life Alex VR only? Uh, yes, it is VR only. That has been one of the reasons not everyone has gotten to play it. But for a VR story, it does work remarkably well. It's not to frustrate you, that's just how the game is. The creator is weird like that. I gotta say, I don't believe that. It's it, the, the feature is it definitely frustrating because that's what everyone feels regarding it. And they know it was frustrating because they literally will sell you an option to make it less frustrating. Now, if he wanted to make it so you couldn't fast travel at all but didn't sell the microtransaction to allow you to, then he would that argument would stand. But the fact that they'll sell you an option to take that away and make it so you don't have to worry about it anymore, that is, mm, sorry, I don't buy it. Dragon's Dogma 2 had microtransaction. It's kind of weird. The fast travel system in Dragon's Dogma works. It's basically they're selling you the ability to place a, a fast travel location down so you can fast travel back to it. Uh, there is fast travel in the game, but you have to like spend like in-game currency and stuff. But if you want to like, it's also like not that great, the one that's built in. So if you want to make it better by choosing your own locations where you fast travel to, you got to buy that. Speaking of Half-Life, Val still can't count to three. We all know this joke. <laughs> One day. One day. I mean, the ending of Half-Life Alex literally promised the Half-Life 3. Ever tried What Remains of Edith Finch? Uh, yes, actually. That's the one with the, the girl going through the house of her, all of her dead film, family members, right? Uh, two areas have actual port crystals, and you can get a total of three more port crystals to put around the map. Yeah, see, that's what I was talking about, the port crystals. And so you can really only make, like, a few extra, like, spots to fast travel to if you want to to ease like the travel time on yourself unless you really want to buy some more they made a mod to play the half-life alex with no vr i've heard about that but i will tell you this you will not be able to enjoy that game if it's not played in vr because one it'll probably only take you like four hours if you because part of the vr experience is like checking through rooms and stuff and getting up close in the environment you if if you played that if you played half-life alex vr outside of VR like you would a traditional Half-Life game, it'd probably take you all of three hours to just blow through it, if even that long. And it would not be that fun. I, I wouldn't recommend it. I'd say wait until maybe VR becomes affordable if you really want to play it. <clears throat> that being said, I've been considering doing a VR stream recently because for Christmas I did receive a PlayStation 2, a PlayStation 5 VR headset. And I've, I've kind of wanted to check out the Resident Evil 4 remake in VR. So, uh, would any, would you guys like to see that? The Resident Evil 4 remake in VR? I don't know if I'd want, if I'd play the entire game. Uh, but at least be good for like a stream or two. I've heard it's like pretty good for like VR experience. That'd be sick. Wicked sick. Hmm... Have, there's a lot of drama on Twitter about it, so I meant to ask, have you played it or did a Sins video on Signalis? I have played Signalis. I have not made a Sin video on it. It was an alright game. I had some issues with it, because I think I played it before they patched in more carrying capacity. <laughs> Ironically, the same issue I'm having with Neil playing as Chris in this game. No, you can't do it yet, but would you would be cool to see an RE7 VR stream or just RE7 again? Uh, From what I know of RE7's VR mode, it doesn't have... It doesn't support... Uh, like actual VR hands, you have to use like the actual PlayStation controller. So I'm not as interested in that one. Without having like in-game hands that can move around separately, it's not really going to be that interesting in VR. Now, Village allows, allows you to use hands. Is VR and PC worth it? Ugh. See, that's the problem. I can't really recommend it at its current price. There's just not enough games to play in VR. But uh, it's also one of those double-edged swords because without enough people investing in VR, then you won't get games. But I would—I I really don't think anyone should be spending much money on it. It's—it's it's at, at that stage where you probably should just wait for technology to advance and become more affordable. 
because I really can only like recommend a handful of VR games at this point in time. <clears throat> so I would say probably not. It's better just watch someone like me play it. <laughs> hey, I, I got to write it off on my taxes, so. How much did you pay for yours and what? Uh, I have two VR headsets. I only bought one of them. I bought the HTC Vive back when it came out. I think that was like 600 bucks. And for Christmas, I got a used PlayStation 5 VR headset. And shipping was mentioned yesterday, according to Chris's VA from OG Resident Evil, there was supposed to be a romance between Chris and Jill, but it was dropped good. Good. <laughs> Don't need that. Been trying to enjoy my VR, but damn, there are very few games. Uh, yeah, that's the issue. And some of them, some games will make you sick, too. Not all games have figured out that locomotion issue. I tried playing Boneworks on it, and I just got started getting nauseous after about an hour. What do you think is the worst Dragon's Dogma 2 fast traveler? Metal Gear Survive saves. I have never played Metal Gear Solid Survive, and I never will. <laughs> I do remember reading something about the saves in that game, so probably that's pretty shit. But it's also, it's Metal Gear Solid, you know, Survive. Why would you be playing that anyways? What's your childhood's cartoons? I actually did an entire stream just a few days ago where I went over that exact subject. Unfortunately, you can't find it on YouTube anymore. Uh, but it is still available on my VODs on Twitch. This title makes me want to eat a sandwich. It's kind of weird this, the itchy tasty note letter became such a meme for a while from Resident Evil. Like, itchy tasty man, it's the best video game note. <laughs> did you enjoy Nier Automata? I did, but I don't think I enjoyed it as much as everyone else did. I, I really find the idea I had to play through the game three separate times a little annoying. I understand why. And it does get a little pretentious at times too. And muddled. But overall it's still a fun game, since it was like platinum at their peak. All right. Uh, I think we'll get started now, chat. I'm I'm done rambling, and we can I can continue to ramble while playing a video game. Uh, so I think we're we should be fighting the snake relatively soon. Yeah, soon. Yeah, so adjust the audio. Forgot how quiet this freaking game is. I'm one wild, rambling southern man. Well, I have southern history, but I don't really have much cultural southernness. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we, we rescued this guy last night. I need to, like, there was some pistol ammo I'm gonna need to get if I want to fight a snake. Uh, we have two, we have more doors we can unlock. So we got a lot we can do. Uh, I need to put these away, though. Uh, I really need to bring my fuel canister with me, but I, I need to go fill that up again. Forget. Yeah, I think there was another save room that had, like, fuel in it. But I forget where it was. Whatever. I wonder if I can get through that door next to me, though. Time to put Yawn to sleep. You know, that is an excellent name for a big snake enemy. Knife is the best weapon for snake, ironically. Really? I wouldn't expect that. This is a really bad home design to have this post that's right in the middle of your hallway. Alright, so, uh, can I open this? You use the armor key. You first played this, I don't think I ever did a playthrough. It's Chris. Well, it's the hard mode, so good on you. Kind of a little bit a little bit difficult. Hmm. All right, this way first. Oh shit, they're gonna bust through that window on my way out. You want 2B to crush you existential- the crush the existentialism out of you. But that entire- you know, I don't think that game is meant to like make you feel happy. 
Oh yeah, we gotta get your weed killer. You've only made it grow stronger. <laughs> Tried Kingdom Come Deliverance today and got real frustrated. Yeah, that game will do that to you. <laughs> Killing the plant with a knife is the hardest thing because of the random stuff that drops in its attack patterns. Yeah, I'm going to like try to find the weed killer. <laughs> here. It's no, he's going to get up. <laughs> all that. <laughs> Isn't this the itchy tasty room actually? Keeper's Diary. Played poker tonight with Scott and Elias from security and Steve from research. Steve was the big winner but I think he was cheating, scumbag. One of the higher ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skin gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. When I threw in a pig the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. At around 5 a.m., Scott woke me up, scared the shit out of me too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on. Said there'd be an accident in the basement. Said there'd been an accident in the basement lab. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep, even on holiday. I've been wearing the damn space suit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. Goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny. So I decided not to feed them today. Screw them. Went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. Predict this style of gameplay will come back in twenty. This style of gameplay is already beginning to come back. Uh, there's that... Uh, Tormented Souls game, which is also getting a sequel. Signalis is also kind of like this, but it's all 2D. Uh, then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them the last three days. If anybody finds out, I'll have my I'll have my head handed to me. Also, let me do something real quick. Boom. There we go. Uh, rumors going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy, and I'm sweating all the time now. Scratch the swelling of my arm and a piece of rotten flesh is dropped off. What the hell is happening to me? Okay, this is the point where you definitely should be on WebMD. Uh, checking to make sure you don't have cancer of some kind. Fever gone, but itchy. Today hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy, Scott came. Ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Itchy, tasty. There you go. That, that is the stream title for you. Famous note, by the way. Famous video game note. Come on, I know you're in there. <laughs> I know you're in there. Hmm, okay, we're gonna like get him out of there. Hope this guy ain't gonna wake up too, though. Come on, blow up. Why is it not blown up? It had plenty of time. Oh, it was a knife, that's why.
thought it was a grenade I stuck in his head. And not a single da bit of damage yet. And what, what, what do we get out of that? We got, will you take the old key? Why'd you shoot him? He was only trying to give you a big hug. Is that how you explain, like, the worst things that have happened to you in your life? Ugh, I, he looked like he wanted a hug. So, you know what? I didn't, I didn't mind the creepiness of it. Yeah, we don't have to worry about those two coming back as red as crimson heads because we're never going to be coming back to this room. I guess I don't think I am. Yeah, though the 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 map still says there's something in this. Oh no, I'm looking at the wrong one. Look at the wrong room. Imagine if crimson heads could open doors. Weren't they originally supposed to be able to do that? They could chase you from room to room. So, that would make the game, uh, that would be the game scarier, but that, you know, that's a good thing, you know, horror game and all. There's an inscription here, a tiger glowing with blue and yellow light. Oh yeah, we need to bring that jewel here. What's up, Wing? How you doing, man? Alright, let me... Yeah. Uh, go back and get the jewel out. Speaking of crimson heads, the reason they're red is because their blood is seeping out of their pores, hence the name. You know what? Creepy little detail. I like. I wish they'd kind of bring back the crimson head idea. If they ever do zombies again. Hopefully I'm good. Yeah, I got I mean I got most of my script writing done, so I'm pretty good. Spencer mentioned architects are rolling. You know what? If it would be awesome if Cap, uh, this will never happen. But you could really Capcom could really like make a Resident Evil land and just have like a really big escape room in this built a, like a mansion size escape room. Uh, I would go to that. I don't care where it'd be. I'd make I'd make an of you know, like a journey. <laughs> if you gave me like a mansion size escape room, you just followed. Hey, Santos, thank you, man. Escape rooms can be a lot of fun, but you know what would make them even more funner? Make them bigger and then put actors in it. How you doing, Listen. In the Resident Evil saga, what, uh, what do you think is the best type of enemy in the in the? Honestly, the Plaga's enemies in RE4 are still probably the best. A lot of trouble to stick one box of ammo. Gonna need that though. Like the yeah, the lost plagas. I got, I just gotta give it to them. Those were like, even though they were just ripping off like that famous manga parasite in Japan when they made them, it just worked really well for the video game. Resident Evil remake is on the way. Uh, well, this is the remake, but I guess you mean a remake of the remake, so they'd make it over the shoulder. I wouldn't be surprised if they end up doing that. All right. Uh, I feel like there's like a hidden room there in the middle that I can't get to. But I'm not the only one who thought that was an inspirational. Uh. 
Hence why I type remake. Yeah, I think five though is the one that we pretty much know they're working on. Remake of Code Veronica. I will continue to bash everyone's dreams of getting a Code Veronica remake. I, I am committed to like destroying this reality that people believe in. Like it'll never happen. Actually, let's reload the shoddy real quick. Outbreak with uh, online. Yeah, bringing Outback back for modern day stuff could be pretty fun. Outback. Outbreak. Welcome to Resident Evil Outback. You know, in, uh, Resident Evil in Australia. You know what? Why not? Uh, I don't really want to have that many keys on me until I know where I got to use that key, honestly. We'll, we'll, we'll keep it just as is. Are you okay? Want me to treat your wounds? Just because I walked over there doesn't mean you need to heal me. I am fully healed up, lady. Never cared for Resident Evil 5. I loathe that game. It's my di most... Honestly, I think I dislike 5 more than 6. The only thing about 5 I like is Wesker in it. My man crush. Australia is bad enough without zombies. Well, do you not want zombie kangaroos jumping through windows? They could make the drop bear ear, the drop bear enemy, finally real. It could happen. I wonder when are people going to start asking for ancient games to be re re rest rest rest. Uh, ancient game? Uh, the Ancient Games. I don't think we have anything that would quite be classified as the Ancient Games yet. All right. That unlocked, and... That's 100 bits. I know one of those Goliath bird-eating spiders is about to be, well... Apparently, it's kind of already, like, in this game, if you want to be honest with it. All right, uh, what item did I miss in that one room? I want to double check, be sure, before I had to come back here. See, so Atari counts as ancient. Well, the only, like, game I can think on that, the, okay, this room. The only the game I could see you, like, maybe getting a modern day Atari game, uh, like that is, like, Pitfall. You can make like a, something like a you know, Uncharted or Tomb Raider out of a pitfall game. I'm here, start the stream now. Well, we have permission, Jet. Alright, we've kind of like done everything we can do over here for the time being. Uh, other than that one room, maybe I can unlock it. Oh, 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 shit. Uh oh. I knew he was going to be back alive again. He's like guarding that door I kind of need to get to, I think. You hear about Resident Evil 9 being open world? Uh, someone mentioned it, but I'll believe when I see it. I also have the basement, but I don't think I can get into the basement yet. You know what? If it attacks me, I'll just put a bomb in its head. Oh, or I can just juke it. Played the original Resident Evil when it came out. I actually did as well. It was the first game I bought for my PlayStation. Something written on the corner of the picture. Commemorating the completion of the mansion. Wooden counter made of oak gives off a pleasant aroma like fine wine. Didn't know, like, yo, know, our boy Chris here was so... Uh, into fine tastes. 
Expensive looking grand piano. Any sheet music nearby? Yeah, I can't get downstairs until I have the piano open, can I? Or can I? Will you take the musical score? Yes, I think I will. Also, uh, thank you, Supertramp, for the five gifted memberships. You guys got a gift membership from Supertramp? Give him some thanks. I think we need to get Rebecca over here to play the piano for us, don't we? Like Chris doesn't like he's good enough. What's up, Charmzy? How you doing tonight? Which will likely mean killing this bastard. Give him the grenade. Go on, go boom. There we go. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent boom. All right, let's go get Rebecca. The only way of properly dealing with those eel once they've spawned, Jack. Let them, you all, I don't have a grenade anymore, so. Yeah, the only way I can deal with it. That kill made me think about the bloodline meme for some reason. The bloodline, the family bloodline. Because of the, it was the splurt, wasn't it? It was that you glorious like splurt. How's my health? I think I'm pretty good health wise. Yeah, we're fine. All right, path is clear to that room. I need you over here. Are you okay? Want me to treat your wounds? No. Wait. Mo it's titled Moonlight Sonata. section of the music is missing, leaving only the beginning and the end of the music. Oh, we gotta find more of this? Okay. Take care, Chris. Guess we can't do the piano just yet. Alright, we move on. Our gaming connoisseur is back at it again. I like that you make me sound so fancy. The connoisseur. I have never once in my head ever referred to myself as a connoisseur. Alright, so I guess we could try out the upstairs part of the stuff of this area. Some stuff up here we have not done. Chad, is there anything you consider yourself a connoisseur of? Only a connoisseur of fine Gucci goblin grass. Gucci goblin grass. That is the three G's. Oh, 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 uh, there is another room over here I can check, though. You also know that Dardigan craps, drapes himself in silk robes, smokes cumins, Cuban cigars, and drinks only the finest of liquors. Well, uh, things I've literally stated in chat already prove you to be a liar on two of those counts, such as the whole smoking and uh, drinking part. Uh, Yeah, okay, we can't get in that door. I just tried it. And obviously don't... Can't do anything over there. The mirror room got, you know, 
bitch out of that. Mm hmm. All right. I guess we go to the East Wing then. You ever finish the latest Like a Dragon? No. I was honestly getting a bit bored with it. I might return to it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. It's just like trying to go back to that after like a month of FF7. And then like another month of like writing FF7. I don't know if I want to deal with another RPG right now. Oh man, he's going to get up soon. And I got to come through here a lot. Also, 100 bits. I am the Emperor. Palpatine of bad ideas. <laughs> Where was that other room I was thinking of? That had, uh, you know, some good stuff for my flask. Cigar tearless win. I don't smoke, so I would not know what to tell you on that. The only thing I know is that Cubans are supposedly pretty good. That's it. What makes them good? I don't know. What makes a Cuban so good, chat? Or is it just really good marketing? Uh, okay, I guess we'll try over here now. After I finish RE4 Remake, I'm taking a long break from the series. Pretty much played 2, 3, 4, and 4, and within the span of a few months, yeah, that's a lot of RE. That's a lot of RE. Need to be careful. I don't want to enter the room with a snake in it. Which I think is that big red door right here in this hallway, right? Let's not go in that room. Copy a cigar tier list from a smoker? Yeah, but that's not my list. Is it? It's someone else's opinion. I see you over there hiding. I don't appreciate it. These graphics age well, that's because it's all 2D backgrounds. They just drew them really well. It's ba It barely kind of counts as graphics when you think of it that way. Uh, hmm, okay, he's kind of like blocking the way. I don't want to like enter the room with a snake right now because I'm not prepared. I've got to be careful with it. I'm not sure if it's this room in front of me or that one room with the big black borders around it. I don't think it's actually any of them. I think it's actually that other big room over there in the west wing. Actually, no, it's up here, isn't it? It is. I remember. Yeah, it's up there. Don't go in that room. So the other room I can go in. Didn't you say in your CV video that Resident Evil 1 Remake uses renders? It uses 2D backgrounds, yes. So the backgrounds are pre-rendered. It's just like, you know, 2D backgrounds you're walking in front of. Makes it way easier to display on a, you know, older hardware. Can you, like, move? Thank you. You started to run a Baldur's Gate as Carlock, and I'm going to romance Shadowheart and make my fanfic true. Well, I, I wish you luck on that. Don't know what else I can say there, but I hope you get to, like, have sex with your video game waifu. I'm assuming that's what you wanted me to say. What? Who dare? Whoa! Critical hit Chris over here. But yeah, he should, like, s blow the smoke off the barrel after that shot. He's like, yeah, it's a job. And where does this lead me exactly? That takes me into a hidden room. Oh, 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 oh. do you want a piece of this too? B 
being fat make you more resilient to bullets? That guy took so many to go down. Shit. Uh, I need this. <laughs> Save your bullets and cut him. I probably shouldn't have actually... It's too late now. I should have just ran around him. <laughs> then left. Uh... I don't want to use up this heal. But I also don't want to come all the way back for that. Oh, wait, isn't there... Uh... Yeah, we, get, we have to like go put some stuff away and come back. Or I could use some bullets up and get, you know, re-up that space. Uh, now go play that on the piano, says random dude, even homeowner's privacy. Actually, I don't think Chris can play the piano. You gotta get Rebecca to play it for him. But I, I haven't picked it up yet. I gotta come back and get it. I don't, have, I don't have room. This boy can't fold up a piece of paper. He's like, chat, I have never once in my life come across a piece of paper and said, oh, I ain't got room for that. I, ain't, I just ain't got room for that paper on me. Like it, it's paper. It folds up into several. You can fold it several times. I promise you, Chris. You could stick it in. You can stick it somewhere. Clinch it in the cheeks. Like hold it in your hand. Put it in your mouth. Do something with it. All right. Let's see. Uh, have to run past a redhead probably. What? Can't get to it from the. Actually, can I get to the? I actually. Uh, you know, I actually can reach her on the first floor now. Because I unlocked the duel. Is the rumor that you can fold a piece of paper more than seven times true? Yes. There's like, it's not like a universal law. It just gets more difficult. And also eventually it will like explode from all the pressure built up in it. But you can't fold it more times than that. I've seen it done. They use like a they did use like a hydraulic press to do it, if I'm being honest. So and then after a few more folds, it literally just like ruptures. I need to do something with this painting later, I think. Next dart again. Everything wrong with paper. You know, I got some complaints. Hmm. Let's see. You watch two game sim videos, Uncharted 4 and Spider-Man 2 of you, and games under back to back. And yeah, it seems like you actually just translating your jokes pretty often. That's what I've been told. Uh, but thank you for confirming it. I'm not going to do anything about it because I honestly don't care. Uh, as long as he doesn't get, I don't think he does it anymore as like his earlier, wait, Spider-Man 2. You mean my recent Spider-Man 2? Oh shit, that actually is recent. Because I did talk to him about this. And I haven't talked to him since because he like basically started doing a pity party for himself. And I didn't respect that at all. Uh, if he's going to keep doing it, then I might have to start doing takedown notices. Oh, I hope I don't have to do that. I really hope not. Awesome live stream. Still here waiting on your next video. Much love here from LA. Hey, I was actually in LA a few months ago. Uh, I will hopefully have the FF7 video out for you the middle of this month. Just be patient with me. It's a lot of work. Uh, but it'll be worth it. Gotta protect your brand. I don't really have a brand. I just... I mean, I, it, make, it forces... It's just that it forces me to compete with myself. Because if he's like just taking my stuff and like translating it then it's essentially my video i have to compete with because i do get a lot of views from germany 
It's like it's out of like it's like the first non English speaking country that I actually get decent views in. Uh, so yeah, I did have a word with him back when I first finally confronted him over this, and he said he wasn't doing it anymore. He said he was like something you did when he first started out. Oh. No, I might have to like do some research and find out if he's still doing it more often, <laughs> and just what the extent of it is. Who is it? Uh, it's like Games Unter or something or another. He's like a German games in channel. Let me check in this room. From Germany, we love to complain about everything, so your channel speaks to us. <laughs> uh, I, I am friends with uh, the guy who makes the intros for my videos. A German, so I'm I'm aware of your uh, uh, how would we say it? Blunt form of like yo know, talking about things. <laughs> Still plenty of kerosene left. I don't have my kerosene flask with me. Should I send a couple boys over there? No, please do not harass anyone or even like accuse anyone of anything. If there ends up being an issue, it'll be something I take care of. He credits you in movie sins and his channel. Yeah, but I've actually talked to him about this and told him not to like just translate my stuff after I found out he was doing it. So if he's still doing it after I've made my wishes clear, that's a problem. It was like middle of last year I confronted him over this in a Discord message. And I told him, and he said he like wasn't doing it anymore, hadn't done it for years. But I just released Spider-Man 2 video like a couple months ago. So if, he, if he's like just made his own version of that and translated it, then that's an issue. Alright, let me go fill up my fuel can first. And then also make room for the sheet music. Are no, please okay? stop asking me if I need Want heals. This lady's like, can I please heal you? Please, please let me heal you. Look, you're not playing Mercy and Overwatch right now, alright? Just leave me alone. Have you ever played Ghost of Tsushima? I played it and I did a sin video on it. Might have to make a visit to Germany? Hell no. Most I will do is like, hey, can you like, uh, like take this video down YouTube? It's just like ripping me off. Like, here's the thing. I really don't care if someone borrows my jokes. Like, Chad, if, you, if I have a joke that I say that you like, uh, use it as much as you like. Uh, just please don't make YouTube videos where you like do the same content as me and then use the joke. Uh, but at the very least, even then, once or twice ain't a big deal either. Or if you like, there's like a theme too. It's just when you take the video and translate it is a big issue, more than anything else. Because then I have to compete with myself, and that, that ain't something you usually win when you don't speak the language. Oops, wrong thing. There, I, I've been asked multiple times by Russians if they can make like a translation channel of my stuff, and I have to keep telling them no. And I've started incorporating more jokes whenever I can about Russia into my work, just so they'll get the message, like, fuck no. Uh, but they, st they still keep asking. <laughs> Would be nice to see you send the original Resident Evil 2 and 3. I actually am probably going to do that for the classic sin stuff I'm going to be releasing on Patreon. Because I have the Dreamcast version of Resident Evil 2 and 3 that I can play. All right, let us now go uh, acquire sheet music. You did it before you even Spider-Man was four months old. Your video came out two months ago. Uh, he, he did it before you even... Wait, sorry, did he release... Wait, did he release his Spider-Man 2 video before me? Because uh, if he did, then he obviously didn't rip me off. Did a lot of walkthroughs for Russian games, and some of them would just copy-paste my work. Uh, yeah, but, you know, that's the world you live in. When you release anything online, you kind of expect, you know, someone's gonna do that. But it's like, it's whatever. Usually it's not that big of an issue. What's the name of this guy? I can go check time codes. Uh, it's, uh, like I said, uh, do you speak Russian? Because that's the only way you'd be able to, like, check and see. And I'm, I don't think the time codes would exactly match up if he's just taking, like, translating, or maybe even, like, loosely translating my stuff. See, here's the thing. I'm willing to give someone shadow of the doubt, because if we're making the same type of video, we are going to 
find a lot of the same things. Uh, so I've never really, like, got anyone's case over there. Because, hey, you know, you got air on the side of caution. And what's more, I even did give him, like, uh, like, originally he did, I was sort of friendly with him. And I even, like, he really liked my original, like, star wipe joke. Uh, you know, that I used to use for, like, jump scares. And I, he, like, <coughs> asked if he could use that. And I said, don't use that, just do something else. And I mentioned he could, like, pop confetti on screen. And I think he actually started doing the confetti joke. I don't know if he still does it, but that was one I gave him. Like, hey, just pop confetti on screen. Uh, but I never gave him permission to just translate my stuff. That's what he's still doing. Wonder if this can be speed... Every game can be speedrun. But I ain't the one who's gonna be doing it. Right, I need to, like, head out, head out this way. Uh, wrong way. Wrong way, doofus. Now it's sounding really complicated. That's the thing. This stuff always gets complicated, especially when it's like a different language, so it, that makes it more difficult to check, too. Been thinking about buying an exercise bike to help my legs, but I'm afraid I'll buy it and not use it. Start out walking and like then maybe like power walking or running, and then maybe can th th once you build yourself up and know if you'll keep at it. Is Spider Man 2 video actually is older than yours? Okay, then that, that's not the case with that one. Like I said, I just know it's his older videos people said he was doing it too, or like he what that he wasn't been doing it recently. So if he just found similar things that I did, that's different. That's not the same. That that's yo ex to be expected. So if that's the case, then good. Maybe he did stop like translating my stuff. That's why you always gotta like yo look into stuff deeply, chat, and not like do your first knee jerk reaction. Even though knee jerk reactions can be a whole lot of fun, <laughs> man, I like jerking my knee. Don't make me not jerk my knee. You know how how good I jerk a knee? Come on. Five-time knee-jerking champion over here. Doctor says I was born for it. Star wipes sound funny. It was really one of the dumber jokes I ever came up with. Oh, will you take the musical? So yes, I think I will. A uh, hundred bits from musical. You have knee jerking and knee jerking accessories. I I, I go to the knee jerking store. Buy your assistance, your aids, as they call them. Jerking your knee in a horror game? Sounds like a bad idea. How do you think I get through it? I don't get through my day without jerking the knee at least once. I guess we got everything out of here. Alright, now we can go do the piano puzzle. Because I'm not fighting the snake yet because I want to have more ammo. What was the last time you used the Star Wipe? I believe it was Resident Evil 7. I basically came up with the that game... Had a bunch of jump scares in it, so I literally put an actual star wipe counter in it. And I kind of consider that to be the send-off, because I was never going to be able to do the, use the joke much after that without it getting really annoying. So I essentially stopped after that. I don't believe I've used it since then. Can't say that on a live stream. You don't realize how brave of a man I am. I'm uncancelable, chat. Uncancelable. Mainly because I don't use Twitter. <laughs> oh boy, chat. The freedom you feel in life when you don't rely on Twitter. It's, it is. It's nice. So much like you're in the 90s, even though you're in the 2020s. Highly recommend. Resident Evil 7 was the first time. It wasn't the first time I used it. I think the first time I used the Star Wipe was in Until Dawn. I think Resident Evil 7 was just merely the last time I used it. Mm. 
what's Twitter? Uh, well, formerly known as Twitter. Though apparently, can't you put like your videos and stuff up on Twitter these days if you have the blue check mark? I was propositioned by someone who actually worked at Twitter in a wedding to put my content up on Twitter. <clears throat> I think I accidentally kind of told her off without realizing. Because <laughs> I said it was like it doesn't pay but a pittance. And she kind of like stopped talking after that. <laughs> Though I have heard it doesn't pay very well. I cannot use Twitter because too much censorship in France, so hard to be aware of what is going on in France. Uh, you mean like government censorship or like the platform itself censoring? Real smooth? Well, I, I literally was just, I was being casual, I was being friendly. I just, she was like, hey, you should like, my husband works at Twitter. You should consider like putting your stuff up on the other website if you, you're a content creator. I was like, uh, you know, it doesn't really pay that well. I've looked into it. And I don't know, maybe I was, I wasn't being rude or anything, I don't believe. It's five ninety nine. no matter what, what is. Uh, it's true until dawn for real was your first time using star wipes. Forget about that. Yeah, that, uh, that was, that game is where I'd like, okay, there's so many star wipes in this game. I don't want to just like, I want to get through it quicker than just saying the same thing over and over again whenever one shows up. I was just thinking, what if I just like put a star wipe over it and make it look goofy? <laughs> you have all the sheet music? I just found the paper, so I'm assuming that's the sheet music I needed. Okay. Please stop Want asking if I need voice? heals. I don't. Let's, I'm gonna care for the music, lady. Until Dawn was the first stream I attended. That was my very first stream, let's say. <laughs> So you're like a grizzled ancient of the live stream. You've been here since day one. All right, a complete musical score, the Moonlight Sonata. All right, can you play this for me? I guess I gotta try to play it myself before it'll let me, like, ask her. Oh, well. I'm, I'm gonna, like, hold off saving yet, because I only got six saves on me. Get this in. Can I get another jump scare thing? <laughs> Uh, can I get another jump scare? Thanks. Uh, that, that could be any any one of like those games. I don't know which one in particular. Heels or a code word? For a code word? For what? For what? Best joke, sending Resident Evil 4, Ashley saying don't- Oh god, that is not my best joke. That's one of my worst. It's one of my worst jokes I've ever written. Come on now. Don't like that shit. <laughs> I've written way better stuff than that. Don't come. That's don't don't want to hear that in video games. Just like in real life. Look, I I I, I do like self-deprecating humor. But I was like I was like I I was like rushing at that point to get that video out. I was like, ah, just put this here. It's a dumb joke. But yeah, apparently, people loved it. <laughs> Maybe I should include more dumb jokes if that's what you guys get impressed by. Here I am trying to be all like, yo, smart and critical, and you know, all I need is like jokes about, yo, know, not getting women off. Keep saying croissant and teasing, darting about those. Well, hey, I don't blame you for that. Hey, where was the piano room? Okay, it's over here. Piano room. Can I say something that has nothing to do with gaming or being a sexy dart? Uh, sure. Be my guest. Let's see, okay, over here in that room. This guy's like us, dumb, has a nice ring to I've never claimed to be a smart man. I only pretend to be one. 
Favorite joke you've ever done is an Assassin's Creed Valhalla where a character says the game is never over and you showed how long you've been playing. Said brother, you ain't kidding. See, that one's clever because it you know, uses the game's own, like, you know, several elements of the game against it. You were so shit on the piano, it drew her across the damn mansion, Chris. That sounded like Moonlight Sonata. Can you play? And you have to ask, why would they want to do this right now? You know, I just you know, need a music moment, alright? Oh, what was that? My interpretation is off a little. Let me practice for a while. Sure. Sure. But don't get too carried away. It's like, is this really that important? I gotta play Moonlight Sonata, Chris. It's very important to a pro Like, they don't even know that it gets them something out of this. They just like, we just really want to play the music. It's really gotta play. I just feel it in my bones. Uh, you've got a playlist of all my Resident Evil videos? Hey, well, thank you. Continue enjoying them, please. Alright, uh, where's... I guess we're gonna go... Yeah. We gotta make our way... We got more stuff on the... The other wing to deal with. Yeah, wait for her to finish. Remembering a password on YouTube sucks. If all my verifications suck and tell me I'm wrong, just to make me call an in, sorry in, Indian that cares nothing for my time and patience. What is it? Uh, well, I do know you gotta be careful with Google's because you know usually Google wants you to use their Google Authenticator as well, which I don't like using. I prefer Authy, but yeah, don't want to get someone getting a hold of your Google account either. Okay, so. Yeah, we can't do anything else in those, those rooms. Those are locked with a different key, so off to the other wing for us. Didn't I get a videotape off this dude? You saw an ad on the hub for deliverable cannabis. When you said hub, I literally thought you meant Pornhub. On the hub. Can you just like... You know, I I once actually thought of... Hey, what if I bought ads on Pornhub to like advertise my channel? <laughs> I figured... I bet, I bet that was like a meta no one had thought of before. And I don't know if it would work or not. But I just considered it once. Like, I wonder if I... Because I'm assuming the ads there would be a lot cheaper. <laughs> than say buying YouTube ads. What if I, like, advertise myself on Pornhub? Then I thought to myself, you know what? It might draw in the wrong crowd. Alright. Let's see. Okay, let me, like, go... I gotta unfill my inventory again, like always. I think my favorite joke of yours is heavy rain when you keep getting mad about the characters. Or, or origami became a running meme for a very long time. I was just always, every day, it would be like someone make the origami joke in chat. The origami? Origami? Trust me, I, yeah, I'm aware a lot of people like that one. Another savage joke was Dargan saying Kronika was the inspiration for the PS5. I mean, hey, look at that design of her character. I couldn't have been the only one that got that idea. Kronika, the villain of MK11. <clears throat> Boo. Hmm. All right, put this away. Probably need this key, but I also probably want to save after doing all that. Who 
Okay, buddy. I finally got her out of here. We can have alone time, you and me. Yeah, that's right. It's like staring at you. It's a, you know what? That calms me down. Isn't there a, like a, you know, the, the typewriter there? There it is. Broke back Raccoon City. My favorite Final Fantasy? Final Fantasy IX, motherfucker. Final motherfucking Fantasy IX. Okay, we are now loaded up with keys. Uh, I don't know. If I probably want to put the sword key away because I think there's only like one door. Ah. Ugh, God, I'm... Ugh. Uh, you know, we'll put this away. Well, I know I need it. I'll recognize the door if I need to come back and get it. Most of my favorite jokes of yours included you bullying characters from FF13. Oh, the classics. The classics. I'll need the emblem. Uh, I don't know where I need it at, but I got it in there if I need it. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I can't do anything up on this wing right now. Don't have the keys for it. Can't believe FF13 is older than 13 years now. Time flies, don't it? The games keep uh, coming, but uh, they stay the same. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh fuck. Well, that was a waste. Why did I come in here? I didn't need to come. Shit. Well, I'll watch your head go explore it now. Oh wait, what? Where did where this one come from? <laughs> What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? You know what? Kill me. Kill me. I I just saved anyways. I don't want to waste a grenade. Mm, bite deep. Good old Chris Red Meat. Good timing. Thank you for the 100 bits, by the way. Courage is solid. Mansion is mostly tight spaces. Uh, well, yeah, it's old-timey mansion. They were smaller back then. Actually, I don't think I'm going to need this right now. So I can put this away. I think most of the dead things are already like up anyways. So this isn't gonna do me any good. Wow! What a mansion! Yup, it is. I wouldn't buy it though. This, this is like a Zillow disaster. You see this on like, you know what? This is a bit too big for my my single family home. <laughs> Maybe turn it into a nice Airbnb, though. Alright, so yeah, I went in the wrong room last time. Don't go in there again, me. Don't need it. Don't need, like, just waste a grenade. So yeah, I need to, like, go all the way down into the hallway. And that's where I gotta go. What a mansion. You should see mine. In fact, I'd say I got Chris beat.
I got the jawline, plus the chin, plus the cheekbones. That's right, I'm glow maxing right now. I like how you though how you wrote it out though, like what a man chin. As opposed to the other types of chins. What a feminine chin, Chris has. There are octagonal indentations on the right and left of the doors. Oh, is that where the crest goes? I only got one of them though. Are you the movie sins guys, friends? I've never communicated with them, so can't really say that. Okay, so yeah. Mm hmm. Also, got some rooms on the bottom floor here I could take a look at. Like this one. Locked. The Ryan Gosling of streamers. I have been called this many times in my life. Uh, let's see. Uh,. I guess we will uh, yo, go back upstairs. We got one room up there to check out. Not go, not going to the snake room yet. Uh, then I need to like get to the other side over there and see if I can get into that stuff. Have you ever met him? No, never met them either. I should do a movie tier because why not? Eh, I'm good. I'm good. I, I did my uh, my weird tier list that I wanted to do, so I'm I'll, I'm all tiered up for a while. Would you like to meet them? I I'm not really particularly into like meeting people like that. I don't know. I'm I'm not opposed to it, but it's not like a particular desire of mine. Have I played before your eyes? I don't think I've ever heard of it before. So that's a big nope. Alright, so I'm assuming... I don't even know if I can get into this room, but I'm going to give it a shot. You use the armor key. Would I like to meet people? Hell no. Hell no. You might dislike them, you never know. Uh-oh. Keep the gas from escaping, chat. Uh, you're kind of new here and there today. What is it? Nobody likes this type of puzzle. <laughs> You all know it to be true. The order is on the wall. I thought that would be like activating the trap. There's something in this depression. But the grate is in the way and you can't reach it. Woe to those who disturb my sleep. There's a switch there. Press it. Nope. Yeah, that, if, you're, if you're meaning these, like, images up here, those are really hard to make out. I'm assuming you have to, like, guess by their weapons. Thank you for the 100 bits, by the way. Uh... So what, it's like, shield first, then axe then sword, then lance. Or maybe I just have it figured out already. <laughs> Did it, you know, you know, see, I didn't need it. I didn't need the help.
taking everything in you know to play the do you fuck young boys about is why what's got you wanting to play that one mysterious box you take the jewelry box i will Switch, will you press the switch? Yes. Sunshine will awaken me. Oh, well, uh, we're going to turn into a vampire now. <laughs> That's one of the four masks we need. What good is that? You you put that on the, the statues in the graveyard. Had to do fuck young boys. I need to stop reading that out loud. On my stream and had to take it off because I, it got abused a lot. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. Uh, okay. I don't have enough room to hold anything, but I'm going to like c carry on. Let's see, uh, I think there was more ammo in this room, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there we go. The ammo problem has officially been solved. How I miss the days of youthfulness in my college years and joy at while last is all I can say. You make it sound like you're 60 already or something. How I miss the days of my ill-gotten and ill-spent youth. Oh, what I do for one more ice-cold lemonade on the porch of the hot summer in Georgia. Driving my, like, you know, my, my, my top down. I don't know. What, what did people, I, I'm not sure where I'm going with this, but it seems to make sense. Is that a red herb? That's a red herb. Ooh. And I got no room for it, though, unfortunately. Atticus, Dardigan, Finch. I go by many names. There's a large scratch in this wall. It doesn't look like the work of those rotting freaks. Whoa, Chris. They prefer the undead or the previously alive terminology, my man. You advanced the plot a little bit. These footprints look like they're headed straight through the bed. Oh God, they're so... Oh, I hate your limited inventory so much, Chris. Like this is a total supply room and I can't take up any of it. I guess we'll have to come back here. Coming back to this room, chat. Locked. It's old-fashioned lock. It's rather simple. And oh, I need that's the small key as well. Uh, all right. There is a yeah. We can go right downstairs to a save room. Loki season two ending is actually amazing. I also love the X Men '97 show, except the Gambit, Rogue, and Magneto love triangle. I mean, they already had a love triangle with, like, Wolverine, Jean, 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 Jean Grey, and your uh, Cyclops. So they really didn't add another one. What is it with, like, X-Men and orgies, all right? It's, it's, too, it's happened a bit too often. 
Like they had like their entire orgy harem hentai island and now they, they just keep getting the thruples. Wesker. I don't think I've ever read this note before. Just use more emojis. That's that's the true language of Twitch chats. Uh, social instructions. Then okay, then I read this. Did like Wesker? Yeah, Wesker must like just came here and stalk me out. There's shit all over the floor. We can actually finally put the knife away. Mutants be hot? Generally, yes. Probably Magneto, who is 70 years old, and... Well, I mean, have you seen him? He may be 70, but he's still... You know, he's, like, jacked. That guy is aging very well. He just looks like he's, like, a 40-year-old guy with gray hair. No, okay, I need to bring that key with me. What up? What's up, Killmonger? How you doing? All right, back upstairs. Body died. They're X Men. They've all died a couple times. What about Logan? Dude is well. He's different because he literally doesn't age. Big difference, in fact. Lurkin. Lots of people lurking tonight. Lurkin's healthy for you, chat. You might be able to unlock it with an old key. Use the old key, yes. Oh, look at this. Uh, will you take the bee specimen? Sorted fishing lures. Uh, researchers will. There is a letter. My dearest Alma, let me first apologize for not being able to call you. Man wearing sunglasses didn't permit any phone calls. Sorry, Alma. I sit here trying to think of where to begin, of how to explain in a few simple words all that happened in my life since we last spoke, and already I fail. I hope this letter finds you well and that you'll forgive the tangents of my pen. This isn't easy for me. Even as I write, I can feel the simplest of concepts slipping away, lost to feelings of despair and confusion. But I have to tell you what's in my heart before I can rest. Alma, please believe that what I'm telling you is the truth. The entire story would take hours for me to tell you. The time is short, so accept these things as fact. Last month, there was an accident in the lab and the virus we were studying leaked. All my colleagues who were infected are dead or dying. And the nature of the disease is such that those still living have lost their senses. This virus robs its victim of their humanity, forcing them in their sickness to seek out and destroy life. Even as I write these words, I can hear them pressing against my door like mindless, hungry animals. Oh my, I've tried to survive only to see you again, but my efforts only delayed the inevitable. I am infected, and therefore, and there is no cure for what I will, fo what, what will follow, except to end my life before I lose the only thing that separates me from them. My love for you. In an hour, I have entered my eternal sleep where there is peace. Please understand. Please know that I'm sorry. Martin Crackhorn. I don't think the, the series of Resident Evil has ever addressed how so many of, like, the main characters are, like, immune to the diseases that, like, you know, the T-virus and stuff. In the comics, Magneto and Rogue have a baby together. Yeah. It's you. Martin Crackhorn and he don't care. Will you take the fish hook? It's a giant bee. Specimen for mounting. It's well preserved. Yeah, okay, I thought maybe to use it as fishing bait. The water tank smells like something once lived in there. 
Perhaps someone was using it to raise some kind of creature. Uh, Darnigan, maybe the animated movies talk about it. I've never fish finished any of them, so I, I've never seen it. And I, I think this is something that just, you just have like a natural immunity as far as they've ever gone. It's like the easiest explanation. All right, I think we've got everything in this room. Maybe not. I know there's another bug. Well, I can't carry anymore. Press it. Nothing happens. Maybe it has something to do with the insect specimens. Okay, let me go put the thing away. I would much rather have Gambit and Rogue be together and just be horny for each other than Rogue and Magneto. I mean, I'm right there with you, I guess. I think the general consensus about the RE main characters is that they've never been bitten. Uh... I mean, we know Jill is, like, special because she got infected and cured, but I guess that, that would be the way of explaining it, is that they've never been bitten. But sometimes it's also weird that sometimes, sometimes the infection spreads airborne in other ways, though. And they still don't get infected. Like, I'm pretty sure all the researchers here didn't get bitten by something originally. They got infected due to a lab leak that somehow infected them in some other way. The yeah, I got the plug is that's different though. <clears throat> that's not a that's a different type of infection. Have you seen Loki? Nope. Have not seen either that or 97. Haven't really watched much TV in a while. Alright, uh not sure what I use the fish hook for, but I'll put it away. Cause I need to go get more shit out of there. By combining hook and bug, I did. There's another bug up there to get though, as long as a bunch as well as a bunch of other stuff in another room I would like. That's the problem with Chris, is it takes her to do anything because of his limited inventory. Really love the novelization of the first few Resident Evil games. Those were good experience. I've never I don't usually read video game novelizations. Logists give you some kind of abilities. It gives you the ability to like your head to like pop off and grow a tentacle. That's really kind of it. Puzzle, yeah, I just wanted to get all this stuff taken care of before I try to solve the puzzle as well. Hey, Darling, what's up? What's up, Caesar? How you doing? Hope you're well tonight. All right. Uh, ink ribbon. Small key up here. What if they'll ever kill off big characters in Resident Evil? I mean, they did kill off yo know, Ethan. If you consider him a big character. And Wesker, who was like the long-running villain. And they also killed off Spencer, who was like, you know, the guy behind everything, technically. Excited for Deadpool and Wolverine. Eh, like I said, I, I haven't really got much time for watching television or movies right now. Wesker dead? Well, yeah, you better be after you get dropped in a volcano and shot with two rockets. Something on the side of this bed, too, wasn't there? Should be everything in this room. He's dead only because they needed to move on from the original team. That and they, that that game was kind of shit. But you, know, you don't want Wesker to be the villain every time, I guess. Did you hear about the Kingdom Hearts 4 getting two new writers? One who wrote 
for FF7, FF15 and some other stuff, and then the writer for Worlds In with you. I mean, good luck to him, is all I gotta say. Good luck with whatever that mess is. Could you imagine getting hired to write for a Kingdom Hearts game? You're either like, okay, first I need to go like study every other Kingdom Hearts game to have any idea what's going on. They might kill Leon. Let the dude have some rest. He's had a rough time. And we got plenty of heals and ammo now. We're doing pretty good. Uh, let's see. Should probably make sure I have these bugs ready for the puzzle. Can't forget the very plot important mobile games. There was like another one not too long ago. Uh, they are writers who have wrote for good games. I, I recognize that, but they're still like taking on one of the most convoluted uh, plot lines in all of video games and trying to like do something with it. The best way, the best thing they can do is pretty much ignore 90% of whatever has come before it. <laughs> like, you know what? Uh, we're just gonna like ignore all that. That's what I would do if I were tasked with writing a Kingdom Hearts game. Rebooting the series? I don't think they are. I don't know how you... I mean, you have to start back at the beginning if you were. Alright. Give me bug. Oh yeah, I can't carry more. Fuck you, Chris. I go make space. I'm just gonna put these keys away until I need them. Put that one back on the shelf? I mean, I'm gonna have to pick up something anyway, so might as well. Thing is, I don't know if that's gonna help me any, because I'm gonna have to, like, put something else in its place. Take the B. Let me put this one over here where I got the, the thing. Nope. Wait, this is a lure, isn't it? Ah. The lure shaped like a bee with a hook attached. Okay, I need the lure over here. This is the one with the lures on it. I get it now. Scary bee in my face. Dumbest jump scare ever. You take the wind crest. I say that, but if a bee actually flew down in my face, you better bet I would like startle the fuck out of me and like dance and jive and swipe at it. Especially if it's like the size of my fist. But in video game form, in that during that presentation, not scary at all. Take the that looks like a that does not look red when I see it in the viewer right now. Starting an insect collection, no thing. No, I'm good. Wait, why didn't I pick that up? Been stung. I haven't actually been stung in years. Kind of forget what it feels like, Chet. Forgotten that sense of danger. You know, parts four actually ends up 
having a really good coherent story, will you forgive the series? No, because it still has all those other mistakes. I would just be like, hey, this game got it right. All right, let's go downstairs and put this stuff away. Is the consensus about the FF's end of FF7 Rebirth that Cloud's mind is broken? The thing is, you can't really form consensus consensus around the ending of FF7 right now you because it's not written in a way that allows you to conclude anything. It could be multiple things. It could be that Cloud's seeing shit. It could be this is a new way Sephiroth or Jenova are messing with his head. Could be Aerith is... This is like a version of Aerith that survived in a different dimension. It could be something more complicated that she's both alive and dead. Like, uh, you know, the famous quantum physics cat. And it's not like an alternate reality version of her. Uh, it's... They've given themselves maximum leeway to write it however they want for the next game. Mute this tab. I, uh, well, it's not really spoiling anything yet. And that's all I'm going to talk about it. Like, you already kind of know where the game ends, I feel. So that's all I'll say in the matter. Kind of forgot that there are people haven't finished that yet. Alright. So... What do I need to take with me now? Uh, you know, I think this has got the other crest on that I need, doesn't it? For like the underground? I need a way to like get that off. Okay, I guess I could, I do have enough to go take on the snake now, I feel. But also, maybe she's finished up practicing on the piano, and I can go check on that. Uh, let's see. Let's mix these herbs. I think the finale of 7 Remake is gonna... Coming before the next console... Uh, I think they'll probably want to release it on a PS5 and 6, so it'll be cross-platform. If I were to, you'll guess. Alright, uh... And we'll take this old key with me as well. Twenty twenty seven. I would suspect you'd probably like have a PS six by around twenty twenty seven. All right. Let's continue seeing if we can open any more do doors over here before we go check on Rebecca. Check Rebecca. Take them. Uh, there's a few more doors on this floor. I want to check first before I go that way. Uh. So yeah. Physically speaking, this door right next to me. Oh yeah, you can't pass through that one. You have to use Unreal Engine 5 for part 3. They won't. That would take too much time to like switch to a new engine. I think once they have all three parts finish, they might port it over to, to Unreal 5 or Unreal 6 at that point if it's out. But, you know, they, they will almost certainly make the third game on Unreal, their modded version of Unreal Engine 4. Silent Hill 2 got Unreal 5? Yeah, well, yep. Alright. see if I can get through this door. Locked. Emblem of a helmet. Nope. Needs a helmet key. Is anyone else using Unreal 5 for PS? There's several games using Unreal 5 right now. Alright, so. Only other door I can check is the, well... Uh, yeah, the only thing I can do on the top floor here is go fight the snake. The only thing I can do on the bottom floor is come back around that hallway and check that one balcony looking area. And then also, uh, those, you know, there's some stuff on the bottom floor that I could check. So I guess we will go check on Rebecca.
Have you seen Resident Evil Death Island? Nope. I don't really bother watching Resident Evil movies. Most of them are not very good. Uh, let's see. I can go ahead and stick this emblem in that area as well and get it on my inventory. I don't know if I need this unit. Uh, it's alright. We'll leave it there for the time being. Can't believe they're making Witcher 4. Hey, they like money. They like money. Alright, so to give back, we gotta go upstairs and around. Gonna need the shield emblem. Uh, if I need it, I can just get it out of the chest. The chest on the other on the other wing over there. Not that big of a deal. What is still in this room that I haven't picked up? Remember the Netflix Resident Evil show? No, because it wasn't good. What could be in here that I'm missing? There is anything, but the map still says there's something here. Off work and dart streaming equals win. Hey, how was work today, man? Hope it wasn't too rough on you. Is that open before? Or did he just, you know, the, are, they, are they just spawning enemies on me now? It's like, you know, you've cleared this area out. Here's a new one. I didn't know this game did that. I must have forgotten. Okay, so we need to go over here. Check on Rebecca. Hopefully she's learned to play the piano properly. Oh no wait, I need to get rid of this crest in the in the wall there. I'll work no play, make the Darta boy a very sad individual. Uh well, this this Darta boy has to do a lot of work during his play though. Like today, it was nothing but writing. Good times. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Not necessary to use this? Wait, the wind crest? This is definitely where it goes. Or maybe not. I was almost positive those go there. I think you're some kind of writer? Hey, someone's gotta do the writing for the channel. Silent Hill Sins writing? I've already got the Silent Hill video made. So no writing left to do on that one. Right now I'm working on FF7. Windcrest goes behind the house. Oh. Oh yeah, that's to get to like the Magnum, isn't it? Alright, so gotta be careful and not enter the wrong door here. Down the hall. Oh, went the wrong way. Why'd you say my name twice? <clears throat> Crisscross and make you jump. Isn't it likely that she would have gotten this right before we came here and already solved the puzzle before we arrived? If she's been practicing it. Practice makes perfect. What's this?
You first. Go in there and check it out. No, it's all me. Will you take the gold emblem? Uh-oh. Play it again. Play it again. Okay, I'm going to need the other emblem to get out of here, aren't I? That's what it's for. Got to use the old rusty one. Trevor's Diary. 11 days have passed since arriving on this estate. How did I end up like this? A guy in a lab coat brought me a meager plate of food and said, Sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. That's when it hit me. It all makes sense now. There are only two people that know the secret of this mansion. Sir Spencer and myself. If they kill me, Sir Spencer will be the only person that knows the secret. But for what purpose? It doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family. I hope they are all alright. I decided to escape. Jessica, Lisa, I pray you are safe. Uh, how could I be so careless? I lost my favorite lighter, the one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be that much harder to escape this dark place. November 13th, the date when my fate was sealed. My aunt was hospitalized just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said they were doing, they were going to visit her. I wish I could be there with them. But wait, even as I'm writing, my memory is coming back to me more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the men in the lab coat said something like, Most likely your family is already. I pray for their safety. Somehow I managed to get out of that room. But getting out of this mansion won't be as easy. I have to get past all the booby traps. Tiger eyes, gold emblem. I have to try to remember for my own sake. Becca has a look of concern in her eyes. She's going to stare at the... Uh, Really concerned over that, Chris. I'll be right back. Hmm. Okay. Save room right over here. Sup, what's up, Ben Game? How you doing, man? How's your day? I just want to give everyone a big thanks for spending so much time with me recently. The numbers have been really good uh, for the past several streams. So, my 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 love and appreciation, chat. Glad you like me enough to spend time with me. Uh, okay, so all the way down the end of the hallway. Also, hit that like button if you're on YouTube. <laughs> hit that like button. The VOD views have actually been really good on YouTube as well. For like a live stream. Alright. A pleasure? Ah, uh, well thank you. So, we need you. I don't think we need anything else. Yeah, we'll save in case there's more. You're definitely a good egg. Plus, chat is always cool fun. Ah, well, I agree, actually. Subscri like, subscribe, and ring the bell. <laughs> oh, I, I've, uh, that's something I've always neglected to do in all my videos, is tell people to like and subscribe and ring the bell. Just because I feel so obnoxious asking for that much. Like, I, I really don't like asking you to do any of that, but you almost have to, and I've, I've refused doing it for a while, and I'm kind of proud of that a little bit, even though I know it hurts. Getting audiobooks with an eye patch? Wait, I am? I mean, I don't know what I use those for, but alright. I think you got it right. Then again, I, I ignore a lot of the YouTube meta. Just because I find I don't really want to go down that route. Ignore that meta chat. Ignore the meta. There's no music in Resident Evil 2 Remake. Uh, there's music in it. Pretty sure I remember some good tracks. Also, 100 bits, you a super chill dude. I That's what I go for. Ultimate chill streamer. Also, uh, Supertrad, thank you for the five gift memberships. Another five for tonight. 
Uh, everyone, show him some love. Love bomb that man. Or a lady. I'm not really sure. Whichever one it is. All right, you can go back to your patient now. Puzzle solved in this room. Were you all right in there? Yeah. That was the face of real concern, by the way. Hold on, I had to take a drink of my cold brew. That guy's alert. She, you know what? We'll leave you here with the piano. How about that? All right, I don't remember where this crest gets used at, but I might have to go take care of your big old snake boy. It might be time. Think you need to go? You gotta go? If you gotta go, you gotta go. It's been a pleasure having you tonight. So I put this here. You watch the new Smiling Friends episode? I don't think I've, have I. I don't think I've, have I ever seen Smiling Friends. I don't think I have. When the two have run each other through, the path your destiny will open. It looks like you can turn the gears inside the clock. Try it. Uh, well, let me see that. Okay, it's like... So it needs to be the striking the short sword has been thrust into the breast of the one knight. While the long sword has pierced the head of the other, so... It's like, what? 210? I guess I don't put it to two. Wait a minute. Let me look at that again. Oh, shit, keep. Ugh, mashing buttons. I keep going into the puzzle. Alright. Picture of two knights striking each other. The short sword has been thrust to the breast of one knight. So the. The green guy. Okay, has like his short sword thrust into him. Long sword is okay, so the short sword goes okay, the short hand, the hour hand goes into the green one. Long sword, you know, the long minute hand goes into the red. Take the mansion key? Uh, I have so many keys. My entire half of my inventory is keys. 
All right. Well, no, that's. I think that lets us open up pretty much all the remaining doors in the mansion, though. So, pretty much got everything on the bottom floor over here. So it's like the second floor we need to like work on. Uh, however, the second floor has a there's a couple of red, you know, red, you know, red skulls up there. <laughs> there's one more. Ooh. So good, sir. Are you looking forward to FF14 Dawn Trail expansion? Let me stop you right there. I don't play MMOs, so no. I I do not enjoy MMOs. I don't play them. Hmm. I might head over to the first floor or the other wing till I get through there. Check out that first before I try anything else. Door skip mod became my favorite for this game after my fifth play. Well, if you're yeah, on your multiple playthroughs, but you know, this is only my second playthrough of it since I ever played as Jill. I don't mind the doors opening. Yeah, we still need another key because I don't have it. Hmm. All right. I will try running past all the doggos. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, shit. FF14 Kingdom was entirely played solo, but that seems like it's missing the point of an MMO, which is played other people. I don't know if you enjoy it too much. Oh, I need to bring the, the simple key with me for that crap. Oh well. A little busy over here. Very, very busy over here. And I'm, I've, I've gotten myself turned around. Oh, for the love of God. Which way am I going here? The camera is like not helping me. Do not die. Do not fucking die, Chris. I, I got turned around every single try and trying to get to the damn hallway. Uh, and now I'm like, gonna if I go in there, I'm dead. I gotta kill at least one of them. Well, that might have killed a few of them, actually. Here we go. That's what I needed. All oh, the camera angles are gonna kill me. <laughs> Dogs are guarding bullets for hanging. I actually got plenty of hanging bullets right now. Not too uh, suff suffering for those. In fact, I'm going to kill this dude. Spencer, okay, you need to, okay, I came all this way for nothing. These these doors aren't open for me. <clears throat> I said stay down. No further use, thank God. How big of a setback will it be? Nah, yeah, I've had worse. You should have seen me yesterday, if you did. Oh, it's the bird room. <laughs> the title is written as follows. Bring the light of truth to the three spirits. Ah. 
Do you drop pesos by any chance? I know the rest of your brethren do. Lisa protected by the three spirits. Picture of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. There's a switch at the bottom of the picture. Press it. Uh, not yet. Yeah, I need to get like green, purple, and red, right? American birds are too poor to pay. How did the birds know to attack? How did the birds know to attack? All right. Like he hit the wrong switch. Get it. I don't want to die here. Not to some fucking crows. You fail, they get shocked. Crows aren't usually that aggressive, though. Oh, hello. <laughs> Bring the light of truth to the three spirits. I thought I did that, though. Unless I had the, the order wrong. Oh, this is the one. Oh, he's wearing the bracelet. You have to do it the same color. Okay. I see now. I wasn't paying attention, Chad. But the bracelet is red. a little bit too long to actually press these switches. Okay, and that's red. And this is what? This is the necklace. The necklace had to be purple, right? Yeah. Right, the, the crown had to be green. Now we got it. Puzzle solved. Don't kill me. I haven't saved in a while. <laughs> okay. Locked. An old-fashioned lock. It's rather simple. Okay, we need to go back and get our old key. Hello everyone, what's up Aaron? How you doing man? Right, uh, let's see. I probably want to go through that door. To the side, yeah. Definitely want to do that. How's it been going? You know, I got no complaints. Tonight's been going way better than last night anyways. 
Oh, we'll get in there. No, no, no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Get through. Get through. I don't want to kill anyone. I don't want to get killed. Almost Chris Sandwich. Chris is more like a sloppy Joe to me. All right, this away. Need that. I need to heal. Is it one of these maybe? Actually, there is that. There is that healing on the roof, isn't there? That I could go quickly get instead of use up my heals. Uh, yeah, like up here on the second floor balcony where you go, there's that, there's some herbs you can just like get free heals from. I might do that instead of using this. Let me do that actually. I'll wait to save these for later. Keep the mask. I need all four masks before they're even useful. There's no reason to keep the mask on me right now. Not too bad. My day offs, so I got to relax. Did you have a lot of bad luck first stream of this? Uh, yeah, a little bit. One, I had a lot of trouble getting the game to run properly. And then I really just like screwed myself by using up what little ammo I had at the beginning. So I was struggling to before I finally got some, you know, supplies. Not so bad tonight though, since I'm pretty well stocked. Alright, go heal up and then we'll go back. No, but the old key unlocks a shortcut. You can put a mask on the wall that helps you not have to carry for it once later. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Makes a good point. What difficulty is this? This is Chris, so this is the hard difficulty. Chris and good old hard mode. I brought the old key with me. Yeah, I got the old key. All right. Thing is, I can't go through that door again because it's busted. So I gotta go back around. But I was gonna do that heal anyway, so it makes sense. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Go back around. Do that. Go through the back door. Yeah, we'll be good. Yeah, because unfortunately that door, yeah, not really obnoxious that door is only one way. Wasted all of his ammo. Well, I didn't waste it. I put it into zombies. They did know. No, you can't get, I can get healthy. I'm just planning to go out and get the free heal on the balcony. That way I save my, you know, my portable heals for later. Didn't know that's how they, yeah, that's how they made the dip, the game harder. Chris has less inventory space. He has more health, but he's like always going back and forth for like inventory. And I think there's more enemies as well, if I'm not mistaken. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Well, I just saved, so it doesn't even matter too much. Later, everyone. Puff, have a good night. Hope you feel better. Did we fight the snake yet? No. We've been waiting before we do that by doing everything else first. We'll be fighting it tonight for sure, though. You ever? Did you think ever happened to M Miss Mia since they didn't mention her in the... Rose DLC. I'm assuming she's all right. Actually, they did. That she said she's like waiting back at home. She's like being a mom, I guess. I don't think there's anything bad that happened to her. Yeah, here we are. Oh, for fuck's sake. I... What? 
Wasn't there like a pot of like heels up here, not just this one plant? Wrong balcony? Which balcony was I thinking of? Oh, it's the other balcony on the other side, isn't it? Mia's good. She was one of my favorite characters. Yeah, I mean, like, I think she just lived a normal life after that. No, she, she, she kind of really wasn't a good wife. She kind of really messed up Ethan's life pretty hard. growing but there's only enough for a few uses use them yes you have treated your wounds all right now we head back across the wing use the key get out to the backyard in progress he was just happy she didn't have to deal with either anymore okay that's not quite true but uh yeah, her, the first game she screwed him over by one being a secret agent for like a horrible company and doing evil things and then like sending him in the letter and everything else. And then in the second game, she had like his mold baby and knew that he was like a mold man, but didn't want to tell him. Cause all sorts of issues. Okay, so we go this door over here. Kind of like Ada, badass secret agent. Uh, definitely the secret agent, but I don't know if I'd call it com compare it to Ada. Oh, you, you, you son of a bitch. Not even wasting ammo. The news that RE9 will be open world. I don't think that's been announced yet. People keep saying that though. Has that actually been officially said that they're making an open world RE9 somewhere? So I've, I've only seen people like mention that as like something, but not actually like confirm it. Have I gone the wrong way? Shit, I went the wrong way. I had to go through the dog hallway. Oh god, this layout is killing me, chat. <laughs> Layout's killing me. Alright. My zombie juking skills are remarkable. Well, trust me, you're gonna you're gonna jinx me by constantly you know congratulating me. <laughs> They like to stick them right off camera so you can't see them. And then... And then they get you. You don't give a shit, you just rub it and tug in those nips. I'm glad that song has stuck with people and left an impact. Uh... Let's see. Actually, isn't the this the graveyard right out here that I could put the stone mask in? These backgrounds just did really well. They have. Would a penicillin shot kill mold Ethan? It. Uh, I don't know. Good question. Maybe. Also, hundred bits from Storm Queen Suki. Thank you for the bits. But, uh, yeah, they made the right choice with this game for a GameCube game by going with, like, really good background art. 
instead of trying to do it all in 3D. down three to go that's one of the reasons i would like to see a modern a more modern game like say ff9 use 2d backgrounds as well if they decide to remake that just do like really good 2d backgrounds that with what you can do today could be pretty good and wouldn't take them a decade to make Flipped on a YouTube video thumbnail. I had Booba and the video had nothing to do with Booba. The first comment was, I can't believe I got clickbaited. I mean, that's, that's the whole point of like a Booba, you know, like, I've honestly, I think that's actually gotten worse. I've noticed a lot of really crafty clickbaiting. Like whenever I see a clip from like a VTuber, it's usually like such and such hot VTuber talked about, you know, her holes. And then she's like talking about golf or something. It's like, really? Come on. Are you all not better than this? It's like like 99% of VTuber clips. Like, you know, hot VTuber talks about, you know, uh, her toys. And it's like Legos. But they like, they want to insinuate. It's crazy that Resident Evil 4 was originally only for a GameCube. Uh, not only that, like, the guy, uh, the guy who made Resident Evil was so dedicated to it being an only GameCube game that he quit Capcom when they ported it to PlayStation 2 against his wishes. He's like, fuck you guys, I'm out. Tell us about my holes. I played mini golf last year. That involved holes. Shit on you and your entire line. I just healed myself, you know. You know that you can find a, a Gwimbly cameo in one of the paint. A Gwim what is a Gwimbly? I, no, I don't know what that is. Okay, I got. This is another door I could open right now, but I'm not gonna open this one. So I'm. I'll wait till I find. The, oh yeah, I forgot this freaking hallway is infested. Nice. Well done, Chris. I'd love to see those crits. All right. He was loyal to GameCube. Well, I believe that they, he just, it was like they really were instrumental in getting Resident Evil 4 made. From my understanding of it. Alright, so we need to go through this door, back through the art gallery, out to the back door. Sphere Hunter had a good video with about Onimusha and she clickbaits. Wait, she clickbaits? I don't know why she would bother clickbait with her content. You can push those plate tables one back in the hallway. I didn't I don't think I've ever known that before. All right. Wait. That was what why did I do that for? I could that didn't help me any. That just like gives me a shortcut around this area now. Whatever. 
I'm a doofus. I'm a real doofus, Chet. Well, there's another door over here I can try. Where the handgun ammo in the dog? Yeah, but I have to kill the dogs, so whatever ammo I get from it, I would just be losing killing the dogs to get it. Don't know who Spear Hunter is. Uh, uh, does like long form video content, video game essays on YouTube. Used to do porn, I believe. But now it's just a pretty good YouTube contender, commentator. Oh, uh, uh, I almost duped him. You didn't know about the porn? Most people don't. Spear Hunter did porn. Surprised you guys don't know this about, about her. I mean, I don't really want to get into it, because, you know, you, know, you should care, only really care about her current work. Uh, but... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that she did, if she... One, she did trans porn, because she's trans. Doggo? Oh, doggo. Oh, I'm gonna die. No, 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 don't kill, don't kill. Chris is good to doggos. Well, can you... Can you get off me? Shit. When was the last time I saved? Chris, you cannot take any damage, you know that? Even though you supposedly have more than Jill. Can I get into it? I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just it's like her past. That's why I said you should only care about her current y'all content. I don't think she was quite a porn star, though. She just, like, did one or two videos. You just found out it's something about something you wish... I mean, it's not anything terrible. Jesus. Maybe I did porn. You don't know. I might have done some porn, chat. There's plenty of it out there that doesn't show the guy's face anymore. That's all me. I'm behind every camera. <laughs> All right, so we gotta go do that again. Well, I can do it quickly this time since I know where I'm going. <laughs> Just go to the graveyard and then like right through it. But I gotta go heal again. That's the only thing I lost. Is Johnny's sins confirmed? Well, hey, where do you think the sins come from? You know, you're like, it's something you shouldn't shame. Don't shame with someone over it. It's like, whatever. She probably obviously wants to move on from that as well. But it's a known thing. But yeah, her current content is all that matters. My hair is fake. Yeah, I, I, yo, put, I wear a yo, wig. The, the shocking truth comes out at last. Oh my god, I... Well, I'm gonna go heal anyway, so it doesn't matter. Johnny Sins did porn before he founded Cinema Sins, right? Yeah, exactly, there's the lore. It's the lore for you. Yeah, I know Sylvester Stallone did porn, yes. I also know that Jackie Chan did porn, and uh, several other people have done porn that are famous in some way. Chat, I want to, I want to like reveal a dark secret of the entertainment industry. We've all done porn. We, all, that's how we all get our start. I've got videos out there I can't let you see. Just, just be beware if you ever come across a video where you have a clown with a very well-defined jawline, and he's doing things. Make me. I was young and desperate, all right. I think 
about the only thing left to do other than like check out a few more doors is go fight the snake. Because the snake will open up a few more avenues for us. There is the there is the basement as well I could try to get into. Did something strange for some change. <laughs> I like that's that's a nice way of putting it. Uh, but you know, these are all jokes, by the way. Only porn I've ever made is all private and will remain so. <laughs> the mask away. Young and desperate are strong words from a former Titanfall 2 YouTuber. Well, hey, that that was me being desperate. I was like, hey, I, I gotta, I gotta, there's nothing to do in my tiny town. Let me become a, me become a YouTuber to make some money. Let me use this one talent I have for writing criticism. You got a Patreon? I don't have a Patreon yet. I haven't launched it yet. Still only like, I have the content ready for it, except for like the FF7 video. Once that's finished, I'll have a Patreon. And whether their Patreon is successful or not, who knows? It's really hard to predict how those will go. That's why I'm not getting my hopes up for it. If I, if I can even get like a few hundred people to like sign up for it, that'll be like a big win for me, I imagine. But I, I'm not going to go into it with expectations. Oh, this only unlocks from one side. Okay, never mind. So I'm going to use this key on that other door then. Game says death mask. I say stone mask from Jojo part 1 and 3. It probably is referencing it. Uh, You got a page, but uh, yeah. Uh, you can't make it more successful with certain special videos from your youth. I don't have any videos like that, though, unfortunately. I did try to find the, the lost pilot episode of Game Sins. I was thinking that'd make a nice Patreon you know, reward. So if I could if I could find the old pilot episode, that's just remained. I, I must have deleted that years and years ago. All right. Uh, okay, back around. Here we gotta go down to the, you know, the dog hallway. Hopefully, no more fuck-ups. Yeah, yeah, that would have been like, hey, you want to sign up for the Patreon, you get exclusive access to the, the original pilot episode. Where I'm not even the narrator. What's up, American Vampire? How you doing, man? Also, you don't usually want to put that kind of content on Patreon. Head go splort. Oh no, it didn't go splort. I thought it went splort. What was the pilot episode? Tomb Raider. So the same game you've already seen me sin. It was just like. Uh, I was, it was mainly the same script as well. It just that I wasn't the narrator for it. Is that it? Are you finally going to do your U.S. President's tier list? <laughs> no, I've already did my uh, cartoon theme song tier list. Uh, and that was an experience. But, you know, at least, you know, a president tier list would be safer than, against copyright. <laughs> All right, I'm going to open up this door this time because I don't really need that shortcut. Coming up in 10 years ago. What a grand adventure it's been. Oh shit, yeah, this is the heal room. Uh, I need this fertilizer though.
Uh, I think I'll take the red with me. And leave the two greens here. Should have put up one of the green. I should have mixed that first before I picked up the bag. But whatever. Chemicals used on the plants. Well, it's used on the, the living monster plant in one room so you can get access to more green herb. All right. Uh, make sure that you know, that door. There's only like that one hallway there. That I don't think I, any of that's I can get into, though. I think those are all locked. I think that door is locked with the key I don't have yet. So I don't know if it's worth I think it's like time to fight the snake. Or try to go down to the kitchen and see if I can get into that door, but I don't think I can. Oh, okay, not that way. Scared that there were so many cartoon theme songs. It was really only Nintendo and Sonic related theme songs that y'all got me booped. You're sick, Gotetsu. Please feel better soon and uh, take it easy till you recover. Lost pilot episode, the Game Sins lore goes deeper. Uh, like I said, it was before I released the first one. Originally, Game Sins was not going to be on my channel. It was going to be on a, a channel that was a group effort by me and a few other people called Pixel Collision. And I was just going to be one of the content creators of it. And mine was going to be Game Sins, and I was working on it with the editor. Who was also going to be the voice of it. I was just going to be the guy writing scripts and recording footage. Uh, but that all fell apart before it ever happened. So I just took my idea and like, alright, I'll release it on my own channel. Since the Titanfall stuff wasn't working. Uh, but I believe the original pilot episode, I ended up deleting. Because I obviously wasn't going to put that up on my channel. Because I'd had to make, because it wouldn't, wasn't me. And it doesn't exist anymore, sadly. Alright, uh, so, Snake need to fight snake so we're gonna go get stocked up we're gonna kill ourselves a snake chat to the people uh, what is it the people what happened then to the people I used to work with uh the guy who originally, the guy that was leading that effort was a guy who ran a YouTube channel called Destiny Updates at the time, which before the first Destiny came out, was the biggest Destiny channel on YouTube. I think he had like 30,000 subs before the game even launched, but he got burned out on that game before it even, like covering that game before it released. So he just kind of stopped. And I think he went on to work for Curse. I haven't heard anything from him since then. Uh, I think another one went on to make a channel called Ubisoft Central, where he covered Ubisoft games. Another one went on to make a Star Wars Central channel. And another one is actually a YouTuber you've probably heard of called Atozi. I think it's like a drama channel channel these days. He wasn't back then. He was just like a YouTube, yo know, gamer channel. Uh, but he went, so... I think me and him are the most successful ones to come out of it. There's a defensive item where you took the the Magnum magazine I, handgun. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> I feel like going all the way back for right now. I'm sure I'll be go headed to that hallway again at some point. I might need it then. Basically, the Yang Ye drama. The Yang Ye drama. Was the Star Wars guy, Star Wars 3, he's, uh, I don't know what the name of, I don't know if he's still doing it, I haven't checked on him in years. He had an English accent, from what I remember of him, like, I don't remember his name. Uh, he didn't really, I didn't really talk to him much, because he wasn't that deeply involved, but I think it was, like, just Star Wars, he's, like, covering every type of Star Wars game that was gonna, like, be coming out over the years. I think when he first launched the channel, it was, like, the, the first, the, the new EA Star Wars Battlefront he was covering. I don't know what he got up to after that. <clears throat> okay. Where I go kill that plant. What I should what should I eat for drunk munchies, Dart? I, I don't know. I've never been drunk. You think I can answer this question for you? Me who doesn't drink and has never even known inebriation? Yeah. 
Yeah, just drink whatever like won't kill you. Are you, you need okay? heals, Chris? Want me to treat your wounds? Uh, you know what? I'm getting ready to fight a snake, so sure. I think she can only do that so many times, right? All right. Uh, let's see. Let me go use this, this first before I do anything else. Cause it's right around the corner. I use it. Uh, chemical to use, agent to destroy plant growth. Fight a snake? Is it a solid snake? It is very physically ma made of physical matter. What is wrong with you? You're in a live stream. Don't worry about being anyone judging you. So basically, that you're the only one that made it, and the rest went back to living with their moms. No, like I said, a Tozy has actually like got millions of subs, so he's bigger than me. Uh, I'm just saying that we were the two big, the, the t like I said, I don't know if Ubisoft Central is still around, uh, or the Star Wars guy is still doing anything, I'm pretty sure like the other guy who ran Destiny Update still works for Curse maybe. But uh, wish him luck, no matter what they're up to these days. Alright, let's poison this bitch. Yeah, we need to make sure we, like, don't poison the good plants. You could open it first, you know, Chris. in one mask now. I think we get the last one from the snake. Don't poison the good weed. I know, I was being careful about that. How long am I stringing? Uh, I've got about another hour left in me. It's only 10.50 right now. I usually stop around midnight. Yep. I knew that was gonna happen. I, I went the wrong way. Shit. This door is always really hard to see. You're going to sleep, Mike? Have a good night, dude. Thanks for being here. This, I think the red stuff heals you from poison, right? Or does it just give you more HP? No, regardless, I'm going to need a heal for this fight. I'm also going to need my shoddy, so I probably want to put the keys away. Blue, oh yeah, I haven't got any blue yet. There might be blue when you fight it in there, so I'm going to make sure I leave a spot open. Uh, Aaron Hens, or Hines, gifted me 10 memberships, or gifted you 10 memberships, chat. Uh, send him some love. And thank you for the gift sub, the gift membership. I keep forgetting subs and memberships. Thank you for the gift memberships, Aaron. All right, let me put these away so I don't need them just yet. Are you okay? Yes, I'm you good. Want me to treat your wounds? I wish you would only ask me this if I directly talk to you. Need the key for the snake? Oh, well, you're right. Oh, well. Maybe that'll be the last. Which key do I need for the snake, actually? Key 
You only need the knife. Not with me. I ain't gonna be killing the snake with a knife. Like to help the channel grow? Well, hey. The people who can now use the emotes appreciate it. I'm just glad I made it cheap enough so it doesn't break in the bank on you. <laughs> Only has one use. Can't remember which it is. I mean, it's probably the older key of the two then. The sword key. Alright, let's go give it a shot. Shield key? Fuck. Eh, we'll see. 50 50. Do you think you can be a citizen from Starship Troopers? I don't think I'd want to be a citizen from Starship Troopers. Okay. We're going to like, I'd rather face like a couple of these zombies and then you'll. The, you know, the crimson head up above. Kind of surprised you still have the first key. I'm pretty sure there's like a door I've probably walked past a couple times. Because yeah, I think I should have definitely used it up by now. But for some reason, I don't know where that it is because every other door is like... Well, you've seen it. Uh, let's see. Okay, go around this way, straight down the hallway. Starship Troopers is a satire of fascism. I know, it's pretty obvious because, you know, their dress is like Nazis in the movie. Wonder where Starship, you know, and then with that recent Hell, Hell Divers too. Just kind of open it as well. So... It's been a long time since I beat this. Hey, well... I beat it as Jill like a year or two ago. But if I want to make a video on it, I need Chris's perspective. He's got some, you know, unique stuff. And technically they're both canon. Super Earth. I have not played that game yet. Maybe at some point I will. There's another game that just came out recently called like uh it's where you it's sort of like Lethal Company, only you're using a camera to record your friends. That seems pretty good. And make like YouTube videos, like horror themed YouTube videos within the game. Content warning, I think it's called. Alright, uh, this way. Uh, I just... You are a bitch standing right off the camera like that. You know that? Bitch move. Shouldn't have damaged me too much. Still be in the green. Oh, I'm in caution. Crap. All right, we'll have to be careful. Its mouth is open. Oh, 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 oh. Big, big damage. Oh, 
poisoned. Not good. <laughs> I don't think I can take another hit as well. You out of here? You know, it's not very long for a snake. You have any of those, like, herbs in here that... Uh, well, that's nice, too. Yeah, technically you can just come here and get the mask and run out, right? Yeah, I guess the only way we can get rid of the poison is with our little, uh, our medic friend. Actually, what, poison doesn't kill you in this game, does it? Oh no, it just does this to you. ever bring it with you why does she ever bring the stupid serum with her chat god you're terrible at your job like you know there's a poisonous snake up here all right how did she even know to be here and like oh he, i hear my friends it's like if she knew to come here then she should have known to bring the serum with her way uh yeah we can get there faster by going downstairs yeah it's here and over here uh you got some time with spiders and Good. You could drive all the way to the office and somehow forget her keys. That's just that's just so dumb because she's already like had this happen once and she knew to be there where there's a big snake. Like I wonder if I'll need it. All right, so this way. She goes, she's only got, okay, she's only got one health item. 15 bullets. <laughs> Honestly, I should probably use her bullets up on something, because of, you know, three, three rounds, basically. Richard was attacked by that snake, which was behind a locked door. How did he get in there? Maybe it wasn't locked when she went through it the first time. <laughs> The snake locked in it behind him. You're late, had to pick up your paycheck. Oh, dude, don't apologize for getting money. You take the serum? I think I will. Wonder what happened to Billy? I don't think it's known. He just, like, he you know, wanders off. Uh, wait, I can go upstairs now and get there even quicker, I think, right? I will have to run past the redhead, but that's fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. Uh, yeah. 
Swing and a miss, pal. I got lives to save. Back off. So, uh, Loki Dog Productions, thank you for your membership, by the way. Come on, Chris. Survive. Live. Should ask her to heal my wounds. You know, with all the health medic, you think she'd have more than a simple spray can on her? Since she can heal all of our wounds. Oh, you, you son of a bitch. Uh-uh. Ain't doing that shit anymore with you. in a snake and fell unconscious. E easy. Oh, my head's killing me. You should be fine, because I gave you a shot of serum. But again, don't do anything... That you wouldn't do? I'll try to remember that. I owe you one. Chris had a glow up. Honestly, I think this Chris looks better than like the roided out Chris. Time. Nods. <laughs> Alright, we now have all the mask we need. So we can now open up the casket. What do you think is going to be in there, Chad? Spooks. Enjoy your content, it's well worth it. Hey, well, thank you. Enjoy those emotes you just got access to. A lot of good ones. Actually, with all the subs, I, I mean, memberships I've gotten recently, I might have room for, like, another one. Need to check that at some point. Okay, let's go get a few. We need three masks. We've already put one in place. So, gotta go grab them. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the mask we have in there. 100 bits, Chris sacrificed his balls for power. Uh, there's a reason he doesn't have any kids. And well, he'll probably die of heart failure. You know, you considering that he has spent his life fighting against an evil pharmaceutical company, you would think Chris would be adverse to sticking a bunch of pharmaceuticals into his bloodstream to make his muscles big. Always fall asleep to your videos. This is no exception. Night, y'all. Have a good rest. Hey, have a good night's sleep, Jazzy. You almost died of heart failure? Oh, I'm glad you made it. Okay, this one's missing its nose. cake is fully baked. Who, are, who am I agreeing about this before? Whose cake is fully baked? I'm not lying. I didn't tell you. You can like literally be born with a heart condition. Rebecca? Uh, I didn't pay attention, but you know what? Uh, Wesker's into her. That man would definitely des yo, desire cake. Like, ah, oh, yes. You have very fine genetics, Rebecca. Very fine indeed. I'm a bit of a geneticist and eugenicist myself. Oh, Wesker. You're so racist. Okay, let's go grab the other mask. Put the shotgun away. 
Isn't Lisa Trevor in that coffin or is it a crimson? Hmm, good question. I wonder who it could be. Clues, clues. Time to da -da -da, first clue. Who's in the who's in the casket? I forget how the song goes on. It's like it would have been a better joke if I could have actually sung it. Oh wait. Well, you're about to summon another one on. Just leave me alone, game. I'm playing as Chris. Doesn't mean I want that much of a challenge. <clears throat> All right, I gotta go through that door anyways. Superior DNA. Can I sing? A little bit. Not too much, though. Out of the way. Okay, that should have blown his head off. We all agree, right? That should have been the end of his head. Two shotgun rounds, point blank. It's a little bit too much RNG for the Yola head splort. How'd you get here before me, by the way? Alright, we will put the shotgun around. You know what? I'll burn that corpse too since I didn't blow its head off. Don't want the redhead, the you know, the, the crimson heads filling this place up when I have to come back. Actually, do all the zombies disappear once this place gets filled with hunters? I don't remember if that is that how it happens. I think crimson heads stick around, don't they? Save, I'm going to. I have to go back there anyways, either burn the corpse. You know, the only game that really reuses the burning mechanic was the Evil Within 1. I don't get to drop matches on everything. Crimson stay, yeah. That's why I'm trying to be a little bit careful about that. I don't want to deal with crimsons and like hunters later. <clears throat> Might be a little difficult. Love that game. I remember everyone being pissed at that game when it first came out because it was one 30 frames per second on the brand new console and it had those cinema cinematic letterboxing. People were so upset. Cinematic letterboxing? Are you for real? Are you okay? Want me to treat your wounds? You think she gets disappointed every time I say no? Like, but I, I just want to help. Let us go free the Lisa. Did I put the did I put the freaking thing away? Who's my favorite RE girl dart and why? It's it's gonna be Yeah, I forgot to put those away. Shit. Uh it's probably Jill. I believe they do stay especially Crimson Heads, however I have not... Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to err on the side of caution that Crimson Heads stick around. Honestly, even any zombies you don't kill probably stick around as well. Gotten real used to this room, by the way. So many memories.
Uh, is anything I want to take with me? I don't think I need the wind crest for anything yet. We're gonna be getting rid of the two masks, so it'll be good. You returned from treadmill. How many how many calories did you burn? What's what's the damage, huh? I usually, when I get on my treadmill, I usually run about at least one mile, which burns around 50 calories for me. 410? Goddamn. That's a full meal you just burned off. So that's like, what, a couple miles you ran? I, I salute. That's like a free meal you earn yourself every day, you're not burning that many. Alright, uh, yeah, this way. When I played on my Switch, I reload my weapon by holding the L button to aim, and then the white. Yeah, I prefer to go into menu to reload it just quicker. Just a bit quicker. Ran 2.8 miles with 60 seconds on a 15 per second. Nice. Alright, so. I will actually go get that, you know, the weapon that was hidden, that, that was protected by the dogs, too, since the right over here. Menu reload saves animation time, exactly. Need some, like, stuff to, like, take care of zombies when they grab me. Someone said I missed one over here earlier. It sucked. It was so whiny the whole time. What was? Technically, I could get another knife by getting the one in there, but I'll have to, like, use it immediately on the freaking enemy that shows up. So, not really worth it. One of these days, you'll attempt to get back in shape. Hmm, best to do it while you... While you, you already, you know, well... While your body still you can recover from it. And then keep yourself there. Okay. It's a lot easier to stay in shape than get back into it, I always found. You were whiny, uh, didn't feel like it tonight. Uh, well, you know what? You push through. All that matters. I love you, my guy. I love you too, Ray. I'm not sure what we where this love fest is springing from, but it doesn't matter. They're free. Love love is... We're, go, we're turning full hippie tonight, chat. Love is free. I'm a massive, like, I am the gamer slut, as it's been, you know, well known. New channel name and all. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Gamer Slut. I'm going to be playing Resident Evil for you. Army made me hate staying in shape. I have noticed a lot of vets usually let themselves tend to go after they leave the service. This is because they get so sick of having to do, like, you know, training every goddamn day. All right. You think you can like buy these kind of things on Etsy to like solve these to like have these kind of things made? Like oh yeah, like I had my like my my mausoleum puzzle. You know, where did that straight off Etsy? Oh, that's just a crimson head. Got me. Is 
There's a switch. Press it. Something there. You take the stone and metal object. Okay, we got both of those now. Flames are burning. Higher and higher. He said they'll overtake you any minute now. Don't need to get that poetic, Chris. This is an Airbnb. You know what? I, I like the idea of creepy Airbnbs. I don't, I don't know if that's a thing or not, but it should be if not. Like, you know what? Here, like, sleep in this mausoleum for the night. That zombie knows yoga. That was impressive how he just, like, got up your know, knees first. You know, the horror movie, like, way of, like, getting out of you know, laying on your back. They have Hobbit. I've actually seen the Hobbit ones. I've also seen ones that are, like, at the top of, like, a fire watchtower. Do I have the other one of these? I think I do, don't I? No, I have like something else. I have something to get the Magnum later. Alright, there must be some other room I can now access. You need that thing back? What, the thing I just put in the wall? I'm not sure where I would need it at. Stone and metal object. Let me examine it. Implements card on the octagonal object. Uh, nothing unusual. It was in another place first. There was a door that said it had the like the Spencer crest on it, right? Was it there? Hmm. All right. Let me take a look at the map. So. I need a different key to get through any of these second floor rooms here. There is the basement. Or not the basement, it's like the kitchen. I'm not sure if I can get through anything there though. I can go check and see. East wing, first floor. Hmm. I need to, like, get rid of the shotgun ammo first, though. Would you ever send a survival game, like, grounded or not enough story there? Oh, you mean, like, uh, usually those do not give me enough to work with, unfortunately. So, it'd be very hard to make a very entertaining, like, actual sin video out of it. I also don't play many of them. Like, the only survival game I currently play is Valheim. And I haven't played that in a while since there hasn't been any content updates. Here, give me my free heal. Are you okay? Want me to treat your wounds? Well, this is it. We're out of medicine. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. I mean, she doesn't really help you anymore after this first part of the game anyway, so might as well use it now. Keeps me from, you know, using up all my stored HP items. Alright, so let's put these in there, because I'm not going to need it. Uh, I'll keep this heal on me, because I need it. i got plenty of everything else. Uh, so, yeah. I'll need that. Let me rearrange that. That's in the wrong place. I 
There we go. Don't need to save yet. Play the piano in the zombie infested house. I mean, hey, we had her do that. We had her practice to do that. She had to get good enough to impress us. I, went, oh, I didn't mean to go in this room. Shit. She's like, I just healed you, Chris. What are you doing? You idiot. It's the last of the medicine, too. Look, that put me in caution. God damn it. Oh, why do I keep accidentally walking through that damn door? Keep forgetting. Go all the way to the end of the hallway, doofus. Eh, it's all right. I still got another free heal up on the second floor balcony if I need it. What happens when you do something she wouldn't do? I guess she, well, you're dead. He considers herself like a be better operative. I don't know. You know, that's one of those things you never try to answer the question when someone asks you because you don't really want the answer because there is one. Maybe she'll just get upset with you. Report you to HR. The, they bite you twice enough, uh, mash enough, they will bite you once. I've been, I'm mashing these buttons, it doesn't seem like it helps me too much. Did you try the double summon fights in Gilgamesh? I'm trying and I hate the developers, I have not, I have not, I, my time has been focused on writing the script. I did finish up the can't stop, won't stop quest though. All right, so I, I need a different key to get through this door. You know, the helmet key. So I'm assuming the crest is used in that other red door on the first floor. All right, not too difficult. Inside that first box, there's a healing spray. You just need to examine it. What what box? I mean, I've got plenty of heals on me. I'm not exactly you know, dying on it my, my anytime soon. Good night, a courage. Have a good night, man. Almost out of the mansion, actually. All right, uh, let's see. Could grab a few more heals out of this uh, balcony as well if I really wanted to. I don't really need it. Might need them for later, anyways. All right, it's freaking zombie hallway. His head will pop. Oh, maybe it still will. Shit. No pop. No poppage. Not gonna burn his ass. Uh, do you know in Jill's campaign you can get Barry's gun by refusing to give it to him when Lisa attacks him? I did not know that actually. Mainly because I've never done that. Oh, God, camera here is like murder on you. It's really hard to navigate that. What's the percentage of headshots or do you have to actually aim? Getting like it's kind of like random like you don't really have to aim up till like get a headshot It just randomly happens and you get a critical sometimes it blows her head off Like aiming up means you actually aim really high up and you will be shooting the ceiling unless they're right in front of you Hmm 
Not necessary. Okay, that is not where I use this at. Okay, maybe. Okay, I think I know where to use it at actually now. It's over this way. Ah! I hate this freaking wing of the freaking building so much. it there. There's a deadly doggo here, though. Why am I missing? That... <laughs> making all kinds of noises at night. I, I am known for my noises, all right? People come far and wide for the noises I make. grab that healing aid there. I really want the shotgun ammo. I can't use that. But I can't get over close enough to grab the heal, the heal spray. There's like an invisible barrier here. It's like it teases me, chat. Is this a bug? Okay, what? Oh, okay, never mind. There's, there's a thing. Actually. Oh, no, 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 no. Grab the thing. What are you doing? I did not door. <laughs> what do people do far and wide? They come to hear me make noises. Would you be friends with a talking dog or a space alien? Yes to both. Why would I deny you all that opportunity? So we have I don't want the shotgun shells, I might use up too much inventory space. Must have been the snake. Uh, hmm. uh, what would be a good space alien to befriend? The one that is nice to you? <laughs> you I mean, I don't know. Space aliens would be completely alien to you. One that you're taller than and can easily crush if it gets violent. How about that? None of those ones that are like, yo, smarter than you. Or you'll, you'll delight in hunting humans. Preferably those like really boring ones that show up in Star Trek. Just have like a nose ridge or something. a switch here. Press it.
Yes, Chris, my radio is broken as well. The gate will open when the guard dog's desires are fulfilled. Statue with blue eyes, the inscription reads, the last gasps of destruction. Statue with red eyes, the description reads, the war cry of revenge. I don't think I have the clue to let me tell which direction these go in yet. signpost uh just did well i don't know if it is i'm not i'm not reading it properly it says when there are their desires of a field this one wants revenge one wants destruction bits from Polygarb, thank you. There's the rest of your bits for the week? Well, I think you would. Hopefully you feel like they're going to a good place. Gates of watchdogs from hell while well, their eyes are on thee. Thou shalt fulfill the watchdog's desires. The gate shall be open. Hopefully you're blowing all your bits on hookers and coke. Well, no, I'm afraid not. There aren't any, not even any of those near me, I'm afraid, to blow it on. This leaves the Lisa's house, right? Trial and error. Well, it also mentions that they shouldn't be looking at each other, so they yeah, whatever. We turn them both around. Ow. I didn't think they'd attack me. Crows, man. Um, you know what? The crows of Spain were so much more gentle. They never go after you. Yeah, that, that room over there is where I get the magnum out if you have all the you know, all the things as well. I only got one of those right now, so no concern.
I think they're going to attack if you walk. You know what? That does sound pretty smart. <laughs> mm, let's see. Faint light shines to the crack. Maybe it's a sign of life. What's my favorite moment in Resident Evil? Uh, honestly, in all of Resident Evil, it's still the opening to Resident Evil 4 with the village assault. I don't think you can top that in Resident Evil 4 moments. I'm awesome. You're awesome. Thank you for watching me, by the way. And you'll know, you know, spreading some good you know, positivity. Firewood looks fresh. Number of bandages have been hung up. Could these brown stains be blood? The map of the courtyard taken. Well, that really helps me out adding one whole room to it. Spreading positivity in this economy. Hey, positivity is free. Crude bed. Looks like no one's used it in a long time. A family picture. Family picture and some notes, my dearest Lisa. There's a journal left by someone. 19. Daddy attach first, mom attach second. Inside, red and slimy, white and hard. Not true, mom. Where? Don't know, Dad. Found Mum again. Wind attach Mommy. She move no more. She screaming. Why? Just want to be with her. Mom, where? I miss you. I didn't bring an ink ribbon with me. save so might as well hmm, though i am getting low on ink ribbons getting a little low on them however i don't know hmm oh well Sneak out. Of that. You can't go under the door, the board. <laughs> Look, she's got to leave at some point, all right? It's an old tarp rider, but I mean, we could save, you know. Remember the save crystals from Tomb Raider? Glad they took those out. Well, yeah, they, you notice they also get rid of ink ribbons from Resident Evil games. 
you know what let's risk it uh i don't, I don't have enough save yo know, tokens to save now and then save again after i get past her Let's put this key away for the time being. Uh, should be good, because you can't actually kill her anyways right now. Oh. Boop. Kind of weird that she doesn't kill you here, though. Oof. Oh, 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 oh. The stairs, Chris. Up oh, the stairs. So I think this is like one of the few times you can actually be in a fight in a save room. Ow. It's ability for the bitch. We should just run. Don't waste bullets. The reason the right there's a lot of things that writers forgot to do, and they just like, you know, you know what? It's easier this way. Don't have her kill him. Let's have her whack him on the head. I think you're dying? I, I'm perfectly fine. What are you talking about? Epitome of help here. Of health. That's really all we needed up there was the crank, I believe, right? Off to bed. Hey, Polly, take care, man. Take care. You weren't here before. Playing this for the first time and not knowing if she was going to chase you was insane. You know what? I, I bet money at some point she was going to chase you down the, the hill. They decided to take it out because it's probably too difficult. I think we head to that other area out here that had the dogs in it. And that gets us to the guest house, I believe. Seems to be some kind of signpost. Each direction is accompanied by a corresponding destination. North Valley of Destruction. South Cave of Hatred. East Summit of Madness, Path of... Okay, this is not what a bunch of scientists would name the layout of their of their lab. This is what you name something for, like, your, your tourist trap. Like, for your spooky tourist trap shit. Cave of one. Yeah, welcome to the Cave of Nightmares. Will you survive? <laughs> I think not. Two dog oh, I really need the shotgun here, I felt. Well, that dog didn't seem to mind. <laughs> I 
This is going to be a little hairy. Can you let go? Oh, the do they didn't. I got I got I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm just going to run out of ammo if, I don't keep, if I'm not careful. Oh! Oh, now that was a shot. Two for one. Chris, critical headshot. Redfield over here. Where'd he go? Oh, no, no, no. Get off. Close. Yeah, we're in the danger zone, Chen. I use that. That took most of my pistol ammo as well. But you know what? Better to have those to deal with now. Let's see. That. It's like a fountain, but no water coming from it. I don't know how I killed two dogs with one bullet, though. I'm gonna be honest. Something I haven't thought much about is the fact that most of the Resident Evil main characters are pretty much senior citizens after the Rose time jump. Uh, yeah, I think they'd be like in their 60s or something. But I don't think the series is gonna continue from that time period, though. Shotgun? I'm using a pistol. Shotgun would have been nice to have there. Hear the sound of waterfall in the distance. Don't go chasing them, though. Don't go chasing waterfalls. This bird could honestly kill me. Where even am I right now? I, gotta, I can't risk it. The birds are upset. Speaking of senior citizens, I just saw... The Rock and The Undertaker at WrestleMania. Two pensioners try I don't think The Rock is a pensioner. Uh, but yeah, I, I, they, it's their life. They can make their decisions. Oof, oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No snake. You know, snakes are an incredibly normal threat for a location like this, though.
Can I have a save room? Please? I could really use one. Rock is 51 years old, that means he's not a pensioner. Oh, thank God. Thank goodness. book he is well only the only book that matters is the one that's legal or that's on an agreement somewhere oh what a night chat we made a lot of progress mm -hmm. good progress was made so tomorrow I guess we'll like make our way to the guest house and then then we go back to the mansion and then you go to the laboratory beneath Probably about two more streams of this, I would say. No. Just realize I have been on this one recording all night long. That was dangerous, you know. Very dangerous. We never fought the snake? I, yeah, I fought the snake. Dead. Well, it's totally not dead. You can fight it a second time later. Favorite Arnold role? Uh... Mr. Freeze, and that really shouldn't know. I, you know, the Predator. The Predator is my, my favorite Arnold movie. The, well, that in Total Recall. Keep all my games on an a, external drive as well as backups. I keep all my games on a, you know, an S, an S, blah, 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 blah. the N.2 drive, so it's very fast loading. <laughs> but, uh, chat, I feel like that's a good stopping point. We've made a lot of progress. It's almost midnight. Can't really do much more, anyways, right now without going way over. So yeah, that's it for to me tonight, and I'll be back tomorrow for uh, I guess another you know another stream of it. But all of you have been amazing tonight. Thank you for joining me, and thank you for your support, whether that be just hanging out in chat talking to me, or if you like gave me a membership or you know super chat bits subscription any of that stuff. Thank you very much. Also thank you to the mod team for doing an awesome job as always. And uh, yeah yeah I guess that's everything. It's all the thanks. But all uh, you all but thank you for all being here. Thank you very much. I will be back tomorrow. We'll stream some more of this 8 p.m. Eastern time. Hopefully, if you get time, stop by and say hello. Thanks for playing the Res remake again. I have not got to play it. I'll probably be playing Silent Hill 3 as well soon. Gotta get that recorded, because I lost my recording of that years ago. So you're getting a lot of horror games this month, I feel. I just finished up one with the Alone in the Dark. Now I'm playing Resident Evil, and hey, Silent Hill 3 possibly. I might even, if I get time, who knows, maybe even Eternal Darkness. But yeah, I'm tired, so I'm going to finish up my drink here anyways. But I will see you all tomorrow. Stay safe. Uh, hit the follow button, the subscribe button, and y'all you know, that like button. Three different buttons to hit. You can also join my Discord if you like. You'll find a link to that down below. Uh, but that's it for me. I will see you all tomorrow, Chad. Peace out.